Hi everyone, and welcome to Perilous Pursuits. I'm GoGoDM, and this series is an audio recording of our adventures in D&D, and specifically our first campaign, Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Spoiler warnings, that we will be revealing key plot points in the Dragon Heist adventure, and that certain situations and language may not be suitable for younger audiences. And now, let's continue on with the next episode of our adventurers' parties, Perilous Pursuits. Yeah. Aesthetic that we're going for now. Forget the troll skull. You put a dragon skull. Yeah, that's way cool. <laughs> wrong. Dragon skull manner. It's the same thing. You just go down. You take the dragon skull. You go back up. No Easy peasy. Deal. You <laughs> down. You, we're, we're in. We're down. We're up. <laughs> what could go wrong? So where we left off last time, you guys or had Hatch rode into the middle of the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Towards that jetty on the southwest corner. And uh, you saw the the dragon started coming at you and you kind of attracted it with the ore on lit ore. And uh, you guys ended up having a conversation. He's pretty interested in all your uh, items. <laughs> and uh, you guys made a deal uh, to help him get this treasure out of a shipwreck. And he said he would split it with all of you 50-50. So uh, why, he's like, come on, let's go. And he dove down. And it's like dusk out. So <laughs> you guys picked a really good time to go underwater. Well, I mean, it's not bright underwater once you get past like 20 feet anyway. Wow. Right over pitch black, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're sitting in the boat and Zelifarn. Uh, just dove down. Freaking Z. What, what's the Z rules name. around um, dark vision underwater? Is it the same as on land? No, because uh, oh, what? It's, it'd be treated more <laughs> like a fog and stuff like that, right? Because oh, it's particles no. in the. Right, okay. Uh, not as would, good. Yeah, I will cast good. light on my shield. Okay. I think we have to basically use you as a lamp. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you my torch. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that would be really useful. I have no dark vision, so that's very useful for me. <laughs> that's why I give it to you. And yours, yours is like a lantern, I guess. It would probably be equivalent to a lantern, or does it just glow? It's a glow that from no apparent source surrounding my thing, I believe. Okay. Because I don't think you're allowed to like restrict it by putting it under stuff. Okay. Uh, but So it's an aura. Well, no, it says the object sheds bright light. So you can't bright light. It. But okay. yeah, bright light within 20 feet and then dim light for 20 feet. And it can be any color I like. So you guys have dim light for 10 feet. Okay. Oh. Sorry, did you say bright light to 20 feet? Yes. Oh, dim light to 20 feet. Okay. Okay. Bright light for Bright light five. to 10. 10 feet, 10. How many times can you do that? Light. Unlimited. It is cantrip. Do you want to light up like a whole bunch of stuff so we oh. each have our individual? No, yeah. no it can only be... <clears throat> the spell ends if you cast it again or just dismiss it as an action. So, oh, it's just going to happen. I can do it as many times as you want for this shield. <laughs> the best thing is you'll just be out in front of everything. Can you, when you get knocked, <laughs> just... Do we have a... Uh, do we have any rope? Uh, uh, like, tie ourselves together a bit? I have lots of rope. <laughs> so Make a uh, rule number one an actual thing? Yeah. Uh, uh, I just yes. like... <laughs> Permanently. We're not going to untie the rope. <laughs> after if somebody, together, if somebody yeah. like, ends up Burn outside of the we're not going to know where they are. <laughs> They don't know where we are, but yeah, we don't have anything anchoring this. Like those kindergarten kids crossing the street yeah. with the rope. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Everybody, hold on. That's a good idea. I have an explorer's pack, so I would have rope in there. I think. Yeah. It's probably got, I got 150 feet. feet. There you go. Um, we went out of your way to buy bonus rope. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How boring is your shield? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I'll go. Yeah, yeah. It's, so yeah, in the marching order, go one, two. I'll go left, I guess. Three. Okay. All right. So we decided I can swim with my armor on, right? So I'll have one end of the long rope tied to the boat, that like to one of the okay, seats of the boat or whatever. <laughs> Just basically <laughs> slide that in there. I'm gonna take it down with me, and the idea is to tie something down near the bottom so the boat is anchored. Oh, okay. And also oh. So, so you're using down. his rope to tie each other to you? Fine. You can have my no, but, but I'm not trying to each other to each other. Oh, you're just okay. Assuming it's less than 150 feet down. Mm-hmm. We all have the potions, right? Are we we yeah. all drinking the potion. Yeah, that's all finger potions. I'm drinking my okay. potion now. Potion yeah. is down. Oh. All right, and then jump in the water. Tick tock. Mm-hmm. Jump in the water. Come in. I'm going right. straight down. It's all right. It's it's dusk out, so you guys are uh, jumping in the water. It is cold. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, uh, I took off my armor. I didn't. I don't have any armor. So, um, you dr- actually drop fairly quick with your armor, your plate armor. I'm gonna go down like 20 feet, holding the rope, and then like. Oh yeah, because it's tied to the boat, can, right? See if I can. You can get up it. Up. You, you can you can slowly ground. swim back up. <laughs> okay. Let's say your good. speed is five going up. Okay, that's fair. Whew. And everyone's speed is half underwater. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Then uh, after I'm like comfortable that I'll be able to get back up, I just drop. Okay. Following the rope though. And you just see uh, the light source go. This you'll change the sign <laughs> and then change the <laughs> <laughs> And then you you see this light go way down and then it just goes flying off to the side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and disappears. No. Um it goes down, I mean, if you could judge, maybe about 100 feet down, right. and then you see it stop. Oh, so good. you land on a silty bottom of uh, water deep, deep water, deep, deep, deep water. <laughs> In the depths. Bottom deep. I'm going to <laughs> yell out, it's good, and see if I can talk. Deep water. bottom dwarves. I don't know, can we talk underwater? Make the rockin' we'll... world go around. <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever tried to dog underwater, it's like... Yeah, but this is a... We got a magic potion. Maybe so, what, with you, you you drank the magical potion, and when you guys are going down, water, water filled your lungs? You okay. really close to it. You have no air in your lungs. Hmm. Well, you can't really talk, but... You can talk without air, can you? No, it's the air going past your... Well, you, you see ripples of water course. would be vibrating out, but... the air going past the vocal cords, it creates sound. You might be able to create, like, a... Mm, mm, you can make a noise. Know. Yeah, you can make noise, I but... make happy noise and sad noise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So communication only now. Yeah. So uh, you're down there. You can see so ten feet around you. There's some seaweed sticking up, a couple rocks and stuff like that. A couple little crabs scuttle away. Uh, you look up and you see these guys slowly coming down a little bit after you. you you're a little bit faster because I think you have chain mail. Took it off. Oh, okay. So these guys are coming down. You're going to be down there Talk for about. Second. You're going to be down there for about sixty <laughs> half, seconds half, half before. This is they fine. Yeah. You gonna wait for them? Okay, roll, roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> um, Twenty-one. Uh, would be like probably eight or something. Eight. Eight-ish. Oh, no, it's ten. It's really brilliant. So there's a little bit of rain. Maybe the sunset is just uh, you can see a little bit of sparkle above, but it's pretty black, and shadows are moving around you, and uh, you don't know if it's uh, the light. The waves or anything else. It's uh, it is dark though, so it's you don't even, maybe your eyes are playing tricks on you. <laughs> this is fine. Probably so probably just playing dark. tricks on you. Why am I always the first one anywhere? <laughs> you want us to dump some into your quarantine area? And a bullet comes out of the <laughs> out of the salt. Yeah. Um, so you guys uh, drop down beside uh, Baron. The light source. Yeah, so you guys are all kind of huddled around the light, light source. My life. I will take a rock. <clears throat> the rope around it. <clears throat> yeah, there's a there is a bigger rock here, and you can uh, tie it there, and you probably have what 50 feet left. Yeah. Or maybe 30 because you tied up on the boat. So the boat seems secure. Uh, you guys are surrounded by an inky blackness. And you can see about 10 feet out, some silty sand around you, so a little bit of seaweed here and there. What would you guys like to do? Um, we're going to find the shipwreck that he dove down to. Uh, he should be there. We should be finding the dragon. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, you know, kinda, I bang my shield and my warhammer together, make lots of noise. Okay. Uh, you, you just says, <laughs> boom, boom, just kind of underwater, it kind of vibrates out in uh, all directions. Hmm. Maybe 30 this. seconds go by, nothing's happened. I walk this way, 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> You have, yeah, so are you just, just going to wait or are you going to move or what are you going to No, do? I'm going to wander this way. I'm going to wander a random and what, direction. What, what direction? Are you a random direction? Yeah. Okay. We're all random. Roll a six-sided dice. <laughs> Four? Pretty good. It's about average. So you'll go southeast from where you think you are, where the boat was. and um, You uh, just charging through some silt. Uh, you brush up against some seaweed. There's some rocks here and there. Um, it's cold, cold water, but nothing you can't. It's not killing you or anything like that. I shrug. You shrug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One last bubble. <laughs> I'm not saying what end it comes out of. Um, yeah, so. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> I continue walking 20 feet further. This is how the DM finally achieves total party count. <laughs> That's true. We drive yeah. around for an hour and then <laughs> forget oh, that you guys went to the surface. Oh, you did. Yeah. So, um, everyone roll a perception check. 13. 7. Can you guys line up here uh, in your order of walking? Put me in the embrace. Oh, you flat earthers. <laughs> well, you got smaller hats. What happened? <laughs> and what were the rolls? Uh, I got 12, 13, 17, 12. 17. Uh, because you're up front and you have the light uh, shadow about just beyond your light. Maybe in the dim lights at 15 feet out, you see the shadow go... In front of me? Yeah. I continue walking. Okay. Um, from uh, the darkness, uh, something comes and crashes into you, attack. <laughs> Is it magic missiles? It tries to take... <laughs> A chunk out of you. Oh, oh um, no. It's fish. <laughs> it's just a fish. You're fine. Just <laughs> nibbling at you. Uh, looks more like a shark, but. <laughs> it's a guppy. <gummy. laughs> Dude, tame that thing. Oh, man. That would be so sick. We could write these things. I'd make it look faster. That's right. <laughs> yes. Aquaman. Definitely the way we want to go as well. <laughs> We're clearly going in the right direction. You'd probably yeah. steer it by its gills. I, I These enemies agree. wouldn't be here if we weren't proceeding in the appropriate direction. <laughs> you probably steer it by the gills, you know, just grab it and like... Yeah. <laughs> so it uh, tries to take a chomp out of you and it's a 12. That may hit. <laughs> it hit. That does hit. I'm taking off my armor. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that's oh. right. Uh, uh, it does seven points of piercing damage to you. Uh, and then it. I will make the alert. It, scuttle, it takes a chop and <laughs> runs away. You can get an attack of opportunity. I'll take it. Long sword. Stabby McStabberson. Uh, 18. That hits. Good news is I can't cast spells with verbal components. <laughs> um, nine slashing damage. Nine slashing damage. Guess I should check my components. See if there's anything I can't cast. Underwater. Yeah. Um, you, you you turn around, take a slash at the shark, and big gash. Blood starts flowing out into the water oh. around you. Sweet. As it <laughs> swims around. <laughs> Sends away into the darkness. Great. <laughs> it uh, doesn't seem like it's coming back right now. Uh, 
go there. Um, are you guys going to continue walking? I try. Yeah. Yeah. I get no response. I continue walking. <laughs> okay. Um, my leg is that. Ow! <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? Huh? Nobody saw anything. <laughs> Out of the darkness, uh, these two more sharks come flying at you guys. Oh, driven by the bloodlust of the uh, of course. blood. Yep. <laughs> um, That's what sharks do. The, one is going to take a shot at you, and one is going to take a shot at you, Baron. One at, one at hatch. So against uh, Baron, rolled a seven. <laughs> no. And, uh, oh, it has advantage if it has a buddy nearby. Oh, uh, what? Oh, natural one, so, nope. Ah, it misses, misses, it tries to bite a few, you just <laughs> deflect it off with your shield. Can I get one of its teeth? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, and it rules a, uh, yeah. 23 to hit you, Hatch. <laughs> now that hits. <laughs> that does indeed hit. What? It does eight points of piercing damage as it chomps into your shoulder. Ow! And these 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 turn around and they fly off. You guys can have an attack of opportunity if you want. Yeah. Uh, I don't hit. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. And I do uh thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. Wait a minute, that one's leaving your space too. Yeah. Do you get an attack of opportunity? And you missed? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you would get an attack of opportunity as well. Against this one. Because that one is a bit. 13. Okay. <clears throat> um, 15. That hits. I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> forgot this app doesn't show uh, components. It doesn't. Yes, that's what So it did. I can't get these, but. That's why I write out BS and M's and whatnot, and I only actually have one. It's not verbal. Um, but I don't think being underwater prevents you from casting verbal spells. I would imagine it would. You can't speak. You can. It just doesn't travel as far. So, 11. 11? No, sorry, no, I lied. No, it was 8. 8? Okay, so uh, you take a huge slice, you cut its uh, tail off, actually, and it's just Six. wiggling oh. there. Uh, you hacked into his, the back end of it and he finished off the tail. So it's actually having a hard time swimming away. Blood is pouring out of it. Oh. Why do I feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It was Wait. just doing its job, man. <laughs> um. It kind of throws getting away. Uh, you notice a shadow move towards it. Oh. Um, anything else you guys would like to do? I turn around and I go, thumbs up <laughs> or thumbs down? <laughs> okay, I guess keep going. A whole time. <laughs> keep going. So, uh, you don't see the sharks. It appears that maybe, um, the other two damaged sharks have, uh, attracted the other shark's attention, so. Uh, there, who took hit, so you took hit, you took hit. Not me. Oh, the two of you did. Tack and Hatch, okay. So there's still blood kinda forming around you, and diffusing around you, bringing a nice crimson in the water. Um, something comes chasing out at the, out of the ocean darkness at you, and you notice it's a little bit bigger. Oh, Hatch, it, it's, it smells it Whoa. smells the blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Fantastic. the size of a great white shark, maybe 15 feet long. Oh. The other ones were like reef sharks. This is called a this is called a hunter shark. Great. I wonder what it's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna lick you and walk. Yeah, exactly. Swim away. Winding down you with its big shark tongue. Do sharks even have tongues? Oh. Like. This one sure they do. This one does. <laughs> so it is going to um, take a ch try to take a chomp out of you. Hatch. It's actually a really good question. <laughs> I feel like they would have done it. Uh, natural twenty. <laughs> oh wow! 
Oh, damn. Come on, man. At least your body will float to the surface. Sweet. And right? the one time I didn't bring my uh, extra character sheet, so... <laughs> How many hit points do you have? Um, I have 26 hit points, so hopefully oh, I live to see one. another day. <laughs> what are you at now? Or I have 34 max, so I have 26. Oh, I see. Right okay. Now, yeah. All right. Meat shield. Um, the only thing that talks about spells is you cast a single spell underwater, but otherwise you begin drowning if you can't breathe underwater. No you take 16 points of piercing no damage. Oh, oh, wow. As this thing just grabs into your shoulder that was already damaged and just starts uh, wailing uh, its head back and forth to try and tear your arm off. It's still clamped onto you. So, uh, I will let everybody have a hit at this shark. Choppy, big chopper's in. Do we get an advantage because he's stuck? Everyone, yeah, everyone has advantage because this oh, thing wow. isn't moving anywhere. Oh, oh shit, 24. I got a net 20. Oh, there you go. You, you got a shot too because it was your left shoulder. <laughs> oh, I'm right. guessing you're right handed. Yep. Wait a second. I have uh, so I get 18. I have something that makes me crit. Uh, yeah, it has an AC of 12, so oh, yeah. who hit? I got a net 20. I hit 12 for sure. Oh, okay. 19 to 20. I 24. So everyone hit. Uh, you can all roll damage. Don't worry, we'll save you. Ooh. I do 8 damage. Oh, also 8 damage. Also not 8 damage, 5 damage. <laughs> uh, 16. 16 damage? Wow. Crazy. Nice. Which is, uh, what's that, like 37 total? Yeah, 8 I got plus it. 8 uh, plus 5. Plus 16? Yeah. So oh, it's dead for sure. 37? 37? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Math. Um, all of a sudden it bites into you, and all of a sudden all these swords and uh, things go zip, 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 <laughs> chop sui sushi style, <laughs> and uh, it lets go of you from the pain. And Thanks. it kind of <laughs> limps, starts limping away, but it still has the bloodlust in it. You, it's oh. kind of cruising around. Uh, and it's eyeing you, oh, wow. looking for uh, an opening. It. <laughs> Dwayne! <laughs> the arrow's like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any rule that says you can't you shoot, shoot both. Actually, there is. So, <laughs> it is kind of um, rolling around. the band and extract, or like, a, the claws. The claws expand. come out? Yeah. The claws come out. What the hell? <laughs> thought that was a regular staff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Claws are out. <laughs> Ninja emoji? <laughs> uh, are you guys walking or what are you doing? Uh, it's still visible? Like visible it's there? just on the edge of your periphery. You see the outline of it just okay. circling around you. Okay. Yeah. The spell if you allow it. Is it verbal? Yes. Then you can't cast it. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I agree with that. I'm imagining it's verbal. I think they are pretty much all are. Yeah, that might be. Your yeah. internet is just awful, so I couldn't tell you if it's verbal or not. Really? <laughs> what are you? What are you trying to cast? Toll the dead. I have no idea. You'll have to look it up. I can't. There's no internet. <laughs> what do you? What do you want? Your basement. I want your basement. Basement. Yeah, we only let one megabyte per hour through on the basement. <laughs> pretty much, man. <laughs> Seriously, you guys have bad internet. I can't connect I have to the awful internet connection. In I'm waiting for it to load. It's been loading for a couple minutes. I had like one or two bars of it. Oh, I got it. Up. It's verbal and semantic. It doesn't. Okay. Sharks do <laughs> have a tongue. <laughs> oh, you're nice. <laughs> <laughs> the important <laughs> questions. <laughs> it's referred to as a bashi 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 hill. Bashi hill. Bashi hill. B a s i h y a l. I'm gonna illusion a. Uh, tasty treat? Tasty looking naked dwarf <laughs> next to the other dwarf. That's racist! <laughs> next to the other? Okay, so that's your illusion? It's just a minor illusion. So okay. It's not, it's not moving or anything. Okay. <clears throat> this thing is swimming around about there. It action? ignores it. It doesn't I'm smell any one. blood. <laughs> Can I leap forward? And we're going to make another one up here because I assume we're walking forward slowly. Yeah, if you want to like go forward. like t uh, Well, I said it was 10 feet up. So if you want to go 10 feet and you can go ahead. Sure. I'll try that. Okay. I'll attempt to lunge forward and attack it. All right. 
So if we move. You don't, don't get advantage. If we move 30. With a. So that. 20 you get half speed underwater. Yeah, so 15. Okay. Sorry, what was that? So half speed of 25, I get to move 17 and a half? Or? Yeah. <laughs> One more step. Your squares don't. You're halfway through. Your squares don't confine me. <laughs> really. You run into a line on the floor. So 28 to hit and 9 damage. 9 damage. Um, and you have a... Warhammer. Warhammer. So you just... <laughs> right on the head. And this thing just crashes into the... I think it collapses its skull. You see a bunch of shark teeth Do you, fly uh, sharks out. have tongues? Yes. Okay, so its tongue, does its tongue hang out when it's dead? <laughs> Uh, no, no, they're, they're actually very it's small. Extra 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 eyes. Over the eye. uh, yeah, it's yeah. A, it is a small, thick piece of cartilage located on the floor of their mouth. Huh. It appears to be useless. Other than the exception of the cookie. Other than that, that's that's, that's, you know, as that's blood good. starts spurting air, a couple other oh, sharks start yeah. eating it. This like, shark comes in and mistakes you, it's going to attack you. Oh. Oh. Good thing I'm wearing armor. <laughs> <laughs> not that we're not wearing uh, That's a unnatural 20 to hit. Oh. Yeah, I guess armor doesn't matter that much. Congratulations, we're the same boat. <laughs> I tell you the ground, but your armor already is doing four so. Point, four points of piercing damage. Oh. It, it tries biting into your armor and gets a little bit through, but it realizes there's a better meal over here, so it swims over here and starts just going nuts on that. Kill it. Kill it. Um, <laughs> another large shadow starts coming out uh, towards you. You can see... It's bigger than the other shark. Great, we're just gonna die to sharks. No, no, no. no this is this is this is the dragon coming in uh, to eat the sharks. Oh! oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it just kind of looks at you guys and the oh, wings. It sure. shrugs with its wings. It just they turn into animals. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk telepathically. Yeah, yeah, it would be. <laughs> They like point in different directions, like, and then do a confusing, like, hands up motion, like. It try. It kind of waves its uh, wings around and <clears throat> kind of almost blows you over, trying to get you to move maybe somewhere else. Um, doesn't say they can talk underwater. I wouldn't say they could because they they get lungs full of water. Do they have too. telepathy. Uh, nope, <laughs> not this one, anyways. Yeah. It's a young bronze yeah. dragon. So, uh, this, this large That's dragon, I give the dragon, I give him a bunch of, <laughs> <laughs> this large dragon is looking at you all and it's shrugging it's like, trying to like waving right. it towards you. Okay. I turn this way. All right. So you oh, guys dragon. start going this direction. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. And leaving the sharks to eat the bigger Megalodon. shark. Megalodon. Yeah. Oh. So close to going the right way, I think. Um, so I think the the dragon kind of realizes that you guys can't really move that fast. So it kind of goes forward, comes back, looks annoyed, does a circle around you, she goes just forward. Let us hang off his tail. Yeah. <laughs> Can we tie ourselves to the dragon? Well, you want to try grabbing his tail when it goes by? Never any sure. story stats. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. No. All right. Roll, <laughs> what's, roll what's the worst a, thing that can happen? Roll right? a grappling check. And we're grappling. fighting the dragon. Uh, death. Uh, well, uh, there is a grapple, grapple skill. It's strength for you and dex strength. or strength for you. It should say right on there, uh, grappling. Because you might be nope. proficient, I'm not sure. I do not have the uh, no, grappling. No grapple. yeah. just, oh, it'd be a strength then. Yeah, sorry. I, strength, do I get dexterity? Because I get to like. Oh, yeah, athletics. Athletics. Right? Right? Yeah. To make a grapple is always strength. There's a lot of Uh, 18. So you're able to grab onto. A spike on his tail. Yeah. And you're just. Yep. <laughs> it reminds you kind of the yawning portal when you're hanging onto the. Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Flash back. So, Re- Revenant is hanging onto the tail. He's got a dragon by the tail, and he's just kind of doing circles around the the three of you. Oh, cool. So. That's pretty sweet. Um, so. You guys walk on for a little bit more, and you see a large uh, rock come up in front of you, and you kind of go around it. There's some seaweed everywhere, and you see, kind of coming to the view, it looks like the back end of a ship. Or sorry, the front end of a ship. You see a, uh, you I see... I don't know if there's anywhere, I think I left it a while ago. What oh yeah, it's with the boat. What you find the boat, yeah. you get back up. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not worried about finding the rope afterwards. Do you Just... see what I see? Oh boy. Oh boy, that's delightful. <laughs> 
How long have we been underwater now? Don't 30 remind seconds. him. 30 seconds. Yeah, 30, 30, both 30 50, seconds. 57 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just run and loop. Oh. 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 Yeah, oh. Seaweeds. Are they seaweed? I see boxes. Okay. I see the Holy Grail. <coughs> you guys kind of come up here and you're by the anchor. Oh, I could have used an anchor a while ago. Ooh, perfectly good piece of rope and an anchor. And, uh, and a rock. you can kind of see the anchor kind of uh, spins around on the on the ground a bit and it kind of goes off the side of the this ship and then uh, kind of goes over the edge. Yeah, I'm going to climb that. Okay. Uh, everyone roll perception. Natural 20. Four. Natural 20. Yeah. 22. Four. Oh, that's a... Yeah, <laughs> you, you see kind of a, some lettering on the side. It looks a little obscured from the rotting, but it says uh, Raven Tide. Oh, Raven Tide. And there is a uh, like a, a mermaid statue attached to the front. Oh, cool. It looks like some crates and barrels have kind of fallen over. There is a mast with the uh, ragged old rotting sails that has broken over the side of the ship. Looks like oh, mast. cool. But otherwise, it's fairly upright. Yeah, it's it's upright. It can'ts a little bit, but uh, it is looks a little off level. Okay. I start smashing boxes. <clears throat> oh, okay. This so isn't an RPG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't it? So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got a Diablo so every chest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the RPG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, a- uh, yeah, you crash it open, and it looks like some broken pottery, maybe in one, and it's just. He broke the it was box. all yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Was, These things things were at least a thousand gold until you hit the box. <laughs> yeah. Completely worthless. So they're just shattered. Uh, you don't find anything of value in there. Yeah, I'm going to climb up. Not anymore. You're going to climb up? So, uh... You, you notice the dragon <laughs> just kind of slowly drift okay. into the distance. You guys get up to the uh, fore deck. And uh, more boxes to smash. More boxes. This is kind of a big rock here with seaweed. Not sick. Um, I was scared that was a hole. <laughs> I'm not yeah. a big fan of holes. <laughs> it's a portal. <laughs> is it yawning? It's yawning. Um, you guys should, yeah, so you guys have no problem getting up there because you can swim up there if you want. You yeah. have to climb yeah. up there. Revy climbs for some reason. <laughs> yeah. He's He's weird. Weird. Yeah. yeah. I thought about it. Any okay. excuse. That'd be cool, kind of torpedo through the wall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, you, you can't guys stop are... your momentum. <laughs> <laughs> In space. Um, yeah, you're at the front of the boat. Uh, you see some boxes over here. And yeah, a couple. We should go smash those. Yeah, I smash a box. Really? No. Well, I'm not saying anything to these kids, but I'm looking for kind of like the entrance where you would go below deck. So okay, so okay. you're going that way. Blah 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 blah. Loading screen. Loading screen. <laughs> loading. Screen, loading. <laughs> loading. <laughs> Draw distance. So you see the uh, main uh, mast or the front mast is broken off and it's collapsed over there. Uh, there's some rope over here. Oh, some, some rotten. Oh. Yes, the massive sperm. <laughs> you don't know what or what. <laughs> the and, dragon. Uh, oh. yeah, we know the dragon's big. Oh, gross. Oh, man. <laughs> it's staring at that mermaid. <laughs> so, how this works, you kind of on the top part right. of the deck. Right, and goes, matching, so. Mm-hmm. so you see <laughs> stairs going down on each side in pitch black <laughs> to a lower portion of the deck, which there's more boxes. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so you can go down a couple stairs or you can leap off. And I leap off. Down. I leap off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is there anything in these boxes? Over here? And uh, I'm gonna say, just monsters. You guys can see the rest of the boat. I'm sick of <laughs> Already? Of moving paper. This big old boat. Should I move all this over here too? No. <laughs> Why? Next track. Because <laughs> that's where the rest of the sharks are. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the shark tail. One giant yeah, 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 shark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, There's a big man. cage with a hundred sharks just waiting. As soon as you hit the tripwire. <laughs> so so this, yeah. this door. So this is a door going in. Yep. Uh, there's a door going in there. There's steps going up to the... Uh, after the ship, you see the captain's uh, steering over there. Tons of crates here. It looks like it's sperm. these are all covering kind of a, a hatch that maybe was loading into the lower uh-huh. part. 
another broken off uh, thing. There is a hole underneath this oh. uh, broken off mast. It seems the mast seems to be covering it, but you can see gaps, small gaps, not enough for you to fit through, but there's gaps in there that lead down. Some more kind of rope kind of scattered around. There is tons of silt all over the deck. Okay. Like uh, quite a bit. So uh, it's been here quite a while. And then the mast with the uh, crow's nest at the far end. Yeah, check out the captain's uh, <coughs> the wheel. The wheel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the king of the world? Yep. Are these doors shut? Yes. The, uh, the doors are um, rusted hinges and locks. They look like they are very... Very rusted. You jig a little bit, they don't seem to move very much. I will uh, put my longsword away and create the four hammer and try to break off the lock. Okay. Um, which, sorry, which door were you at? This, the one next to this berm. Okay. <laughs> I'm still checking the boxes. Yeah. I'm at the helm. That's just how fast we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're trying to sorry you say again what were you doing? I'm creating a warhammer. Yeah. With my, and hit it. Yeah. And, and hit it. Okay. So uh, roll a attack. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I'm gonna say What's this that? is like a strength check. Okay. Uh, the best strength check that is twelve. Twelve. You you hit it. Um, it doesn't seem to really rattles a little bit, but it doesn't seem to really break. Um, some, some. There's a little bit of splinters happening, but it doesn't seem to move. I'll hit it again. Okay, roll again. I'll try a couple times. Thirteen. Twelve. <laughs> Those are some good rolls you're with. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's um, best. Yeah, you're just working on this door, and it's it's weird. It's just. Maybe it's the kind of the glass orby thing. It's just not working so well on the wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> the cold is getting to you, and you're not hitting it as hard as you wanted to. Yeah, I can see what's going on. Oh, I got a dark vision, but it's shit. Is there anything in these boxes over here? Um. Yeah, you can you can check. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I just figured you couldn't actually see anything. See what the dark are you gonna break them open? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just right. see uh, some kind of rotting stuff. You're not even sure. It's like a mush now. <laughs> You're yeah. not even sure what it was. Beets. Could beets. be beets. Probably was beets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Raven Tide was known to be a big beet hauler. Oh yeah. <laughs> King of the beets. Making sugar. <laughs> um. So yeah, you don't see anything uh, there. Okay. Where's, where do we want to go? Over to the steering wheel? Yes, please. Okay. I'll follow you. Oh, wait, now we're off the steering wheel. Oh, now we're over by the steering wheel? Yeah, I, I'll go over Okay. Woo! So, <laughs> so you're, you're behind the wheel. Silt is very built up to the bottom of the wheel. Um, Can I try turning it? Yeah, you try it, it doesn't move. It looks like the rudder is buried in the silt blow, so it's just not moving. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I'm gonna try the door there. Good thing we did that. Okay. You magically unlock the door to Narnia by turning the steering wheel to <laughs> um, Roll a strength check to see if you can break this door. Are you breaking it or are you picking it or what are you doing? I don't have any picks, so I'm gonna okay. break it. Nat 20. Nat 20, uh, you Whoa. just look up to it and do the one, in, one, one inch punch. <laughs> and the thing just shatters into a million pieces inside and you just kind of look over at uh, Tack and just smile. <laughs> He's hopping and puffing. <laughs> so there's a small stairway that goes down. <laughs> kiss, kiss the guns. Uh, there's a small stairway that goes down a few steps and then it goes onto a landing and it splits right and left down a couple more steps into uh, into um oh that's gotta be an interior of the ship that's the way <laughs> <laughs> that's the 
second ship. <laughs> I was like, what is over there? There's what a ship inside of this ship. <laughs> what do we need? <laughs> it, like, outside of the ship. And then I was just like, okay. Oh, hey, the shark deck. That's the Dark World ship. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So you, you're down there. And there's a room here, a room to the left, and a room to the right. Alright, keep walking this way. No, I, sorry, it's a wall there. You can go this way or you can oh, go, okay. I go, I go, <laughs> you can go um, left or right at the little landing. I go left. Okay. Because I'm walking this way. Alright. This paper takes out the party. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you kind of. Dining hall. Well, you come into a. Uh, into a stateroom. So it. This room contains a large eight-person wooden table. I feel like I need a chair. <laughs> uh, it's got chairs thrown about the floor. Maps on the wall appear to flutter in the current, and the ink has mostly washed away. The paper is rotting. A bookcase sits on one side. Anything in it? Uh, make an investigation. Close. Not the There's some rotting books in there. There there's several books there. They're, they're mostly uh, unreadable, rotting books. Okay. Uh, mostly. Yeah, there's one leather-bound dark green book, and yeah. it appears in remarkable condition. Yeah, I'm taking that. You sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you pull out this book, and you look at it, and the title of the book says, Book of Wondrous Answers. Sounds sweet. You Sounds open dangerous. it up? No, I don't open it up here. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I pat him on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. As you kind of grab the book, uh, the table moves. Oh. Oh, shit. And it transforms into this huge oh, it's a mimic. Yeah, oh. classic. monster. Classic <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Sweet. <laughs> Woo. I was paying attention. My barb spent the last uh, comment stuck inside. Seven. seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thirteen. Yes. Or they swallow. was a couch. Give me a sec here. <laughs> you mean you got in a fight? With a futon. Yes, and, you lost. and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody else killed everything else. Oh. Well, I was stuck inside. Oh, you're talking about my skin? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he was in the couch looking for change. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't great. All right. Well, that, I've never uh, used a mimic before, so me let me check. <laughs> Are you proficient with anything you create? Okay, what did everybody uh, roll? Six. Seven. Two. Or er, four, sorry. Uh, four. Thirteen. Wow. We might all die before we even die. All <laughs> yes. you were we all act seven. slow. No one feels like they're moving any slower. Just the <laughs> Hatch, what were you? Uh, Thirteen. We're just like, oh my god, the mimic's so fast. <laughs> and Tack, what were you? Four. Four. We'll just say that we we're all pretty surprised by it. How about that? Um, the mimic, uh, these teeth come transforming out of the table, and the legs start moving towards you. It tries to take a chomp at you, uh, the mimic. Uh, it t- yeah, at you, me? Revenant. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to attack you. So you get for taking the book? Yeah. Don't me. Um, hmm. I mean, I would have felt for that, too. <laughs> yeah. It's actually going to try to bite you. Okay. And it rolls an unnatural 23. Mm, that is. <laughs> <coughs> he likes a 23. Uh, actually, I'm going to do yeah, that. That's fine. I'll take, I'll take that. Okay, it does uh, 11 like points of piercing damage. damage. <laughs> this is the second time I've done that. What? Like D12. And 8 points of acid damage. Oh! And next up is Hatch. Hatch has had bad experiences with uh, with a mimic before. That was oh, opening yeah? a door, so he really hates doors. Oh so yeah, he, he goes, he, or he really hates mimics. Um, he just chopped he that goes, sucker they're, up. They're, uh, they're a travesty to door guys. <laughs> uh, so he goes into rage, oh. um, and then he'll attack it with his axe. 
Okay, so um, underwater, uh, I believe it's you get disadvantage with uh, melee attacks, don't you? Really? Oh, Let man. me just check this real quick. We're screwed. Yeah, no spells yeah. and... Well, he tried to bite me. Didn't he get a disadvantage for that? He's got okay, uh, I will. Uh, I will say there's no okay. underwater disadvantages on attacks. So make it make it even. Because <laughs> you're right. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't. I, I, been fine I didn't write not. the. I didn't do the mimic at disadvantage. So we'll all just. Uh, also, would have been fine with you not hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really. Oh, twelve. Um, it just hits. Yeah, it's a slow moving table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you put it like that, it seems less impressive. Uh, so, let's see. Um, I do. I'm just going to check something quickly. I do 10 damage. 10 damage. No, it's the name of one of the classes. I just get a notification of monster, which I've never seen. So, it had anything to do with I got an email from Bally Cologne. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Did I miss a bell? Like, like, did I buy tickets to something I didn't remember? And then it's like, oh, sorry, we say. Remnants. You're up. But why are you on the mailing list? Uh, I guess it's any, if you went to the community theater for any reason whatsoever. Yeah. I got the same thing. I was like, reading this, I'm like, how are you trying to scam me on this stuff? You're doing Bally Cologne. I don't understand. 19. 19 hits. <laughs> well, yeah, if you've been to the actor studio too, you get yeah. oh, Um, Five? Five and points. And I'm also going to try and hit it with my courier uh, blows, which misses. Alright, so you take some damage, some wood chips go flying. <laughs> uh, next up. Is burned in. I will. Can't believe you go before. I will try and attack. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a first. With my minus dexterity, I will just step forward five feet and attack. All right. Attack. With a fourteen. Fourteen hits. Wow. Five damage. Five damage. All right. You guys are whacking away at this thing, chipping away. Attack, you're up. <coughs> okay. I'm going in with a trident that I'm apparently using. You, you've uh, yeah. created a trident with yeah, your... Yeah, I, uh, I did when we entered this room because oh, like, cool. I feel like I need <laughs> a trident to be on theme here. All right. I'm going to go, ah, because I'm not 100% sure what he's this thing, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> better on a table than a fork. I'm just trying to figure out... <laughs> just figuring out... I am proficient with it, and I don't actually know what Untrident does for damage. So, let's just see if I hit first. No, I don't hit. That simplifies things. <laughs> I'm done. No, by next round, you'll do it. Uh, you didn't hit? No. Alright. <laughs> so it's the uh, Mimic's turn, and uh... I don't even think I hit the table. No, I didn't even hit the table. <laughs> okay. I somehow missed the entire thing. Yeah. I like wound up and like stuck and, and in as the you guys, or something. Like, yeah. And as you guys are kind of moving around swinging, yeah. like Silt is just kind of moving around. Oh, yeah. and it's, hard, it's obscuring a bit. Um, it is going to reach out with a pseudopod and <laughs> try to hit you. I'm going to use a key point to dodge. Okay. So that is a 19 to hit. But is a dodge an automatic miss? How does oh, dodge work? What does work? dodge do? You guys, with more experience than me, what does a dodge do? Does it work do? as good as a Dividing Ford or a Chevy? Disadvantage? Disadvantage? Two attacks against you. Yes. Disadvantage? Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you can see them and you are actively dodging, you melee attacks. Okay, so I rolled an 18 as a second roll. Well, then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 23. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. It's like I'm out. You're out unconscious. Yeah, I'm unconscious. It's just a pseudopod. It might just be leaching your brain. No, 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 no. That's going to be really shitty. <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay. We'll just make a slow trip. Nine to points of damage. Yeah, I'm unconscious. <laughs> and you are stuck. It adheres to you as it hits you. You are stuck to it. Um, and it kind of pulls you towards it. Oh, man. It's picked up dead weight. <laughs> And you're just kind of you're just kind of sticking on this mimic just it like that. Did 19 ah. points of damage to me last turn, man. <laughs> 
Don't hate the dragon. You guys should have been waiting for so long when you should have followed the dragon right away. <laughs> I wasn't even hit when we... By the sharks, man. No? No. Was just this guy? Yeah. I was. You literally did 19 points of damage to me last turn. And what's your total hit points? 24. <laughs> and I was already down three for some reason. I think I jumped off or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you killed yourself, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, no, that still would have killed me. Yeah, you jumped off a, yeah, off the I balcony only, and you took yeah. three points of damage. But three, yeah. and I only had two left. That's five, and you just did nine. So regardless of my jumping activities, it's okay because I, I heard that if a mimic swallows you, it actually has healing fluid in its <laughs> stomach. So yeah, that's exactly what it's, it's healing. You're gonna totally. Need it. It's like orange juice inside. <laughs> I looked through the components. I don't have a single spell that. You uh, Hatch, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna try and you attack its pseudopod. I'm gonna try and sever it so while, whatever it's the hell it while it's pulling him in. While it's pulling him in. Okay, yeah. so I'll give you a chance to maybe dis, um, dis, dis dis dismember member dis the pod. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You gotta have a high roll if you want to actually cut it off. So that's gonna be 21. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Let's see what the damage is. You should be using the communal player sandwich. Uh, it's gonna be 14. 14. Okay. It takes way longer. Oh. As it's pulling you towards you, this knife or this giant greatsword goes, great axe, great axe yeah. goes slicing on the soda pod and cuts it off, and you just slowly well, start drifting in front of it. Nice. You still have a piece of it just kind of falls off you because it's dead. Nice. That was good. Uh, Revenant. Uh, roll a death saving throw. Oh, am I already? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I already yeah. <laughs> You're really delaying this death save. You're not really excited about this. No. <laughs> pass? Yeah, I was like, that's a 10. I'm that's a pass. Is that a good thing? That's a yeah, success. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, Barrington. <clears throat> Uh, I will attack again just with the uh, Warhammer. Uh, uh, you guys are getting advantage, eh? Because you're surrounding it. Oh! oh. Mm. So okay. roll another one to see if you got a natural 20. Yeah. Alright. 17 to hit. That hits. Two damage. damage. Two damage. Two damage. damage. Yeah. Alright, this thing is, you know, it's it's kind of. It's coming at you, but it looks a little dented from where it was. Uh, attack. <laughs> okay, tried it. I figured out how to use this thing now, guys. You get oh, it, I did. I did. Just in case I get two. Oh! So what happens when I roll two natural 20s on my advantage? <laughs> uh, you get uh, double dice. <laughs> and that's an automatic hit. I don't know why I'm rolling it. Uh, <laughs> like, 20 sided damage. Alright. Oh, yeah, right. one plus one! <laughs> 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 oh, that's the worst critical six, ever. 20, 20, one, one! <laughs> you seriously rolled two 20s and two ones. Yeah. In a row. Wow. <laughs> so how many? How much damage? Six. Re- really pulling your weight with that trider. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is what I get for trying out different weapons. <laughs> What's like the damage bonus on that? Is, there just isn't one? Oh, with my, my, trident? my yeah, magic weapon? Or? Oh, no, it just creates a weapon that I'm proficient with. And, oh, okay, okay. And uh, I get my uh, charisma for damage. So, Hatch, it didn't like what you did. It's his turn now. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's going yeah. to uh, it's try gonna, to it's gonna kill me now. bite you. Yeah. I, I massaged it a little. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> take this trident. That's a uh, 16 to hit? Uh, that hits, yeah. Oh, you're done. <laughs> You get two, point, no two points of what? piercing yeah, so damage. I, I no, we, no, we, five we, points of piercing damage. Killing me, man. Can you? Literally. Is there it's any other type of damage that wants to inflict? Seven points of acid damage. No way. Okay, I'm, I'm now in the negatives. <laughs> oh, you're out too. Negative two, yeah. Oh, yes, I got negative seven. Uh, nope. Yeah, that never mind. I mean, it didn't help when I got 16 damage inflicted on me from the shark. Yeah. Or whatever that. That thing took a flight. <laughs> you hear the dragon. How's it going in there? <laughs> <laughs> As Hatch gets hit, Revy's just floating there. Hatch. <laughs> he must be killing everything. I see all this blood. <laughs> hey, I see some acid too. Which one of you guys has acid? Uh, Hatch, you're up next, so you need to roll a death saving throw. Oh, <clears throat> you guys better succeed. Oh. Oh. 
seven. There's no uh, possible way fail. for us to heal you before you're dead. 50-50 okay. chance. <laughs> Stabilize. Okay. Just slightly less than 50 And if you pass a check, you just automatically stabilize. <laughs> no, How does that work? You just use it. I think so stabilize can... someone. You have to use a medicine check or something, though, right? You, you, you can stabilize someone. You can just, it's all it does, it's stabilize. Yeah, but it's a full it action to stabilize someone? It doesn't bring them so to we just one. have to kill it first and we can... The two guys that do, no doubt. Hey, I critically hit it! Yeah, critically six massaged six it! Uh, did you do uh, with <laughs> advantage? I was like, hey, watch this movie about pressure points, guys! Oh, did we get yeah. advantage on saving? <laughs> what? Saving. <laughs> <laughs> Why would? Oh yeah, you're uh, you're out. Sorry, I thought, I thought you were attacking. No. So it was oh, a no, fail. Yeah. Okay. It's a table's pressure points. <laughs> uh, Baron. Um, you have oh, advantage if you want to attack. <laughs> well, we gotta kill this thing first, so we think. Hopefully, it's almost dead. I'm gonna try attacking it. I'm making a stabbing motion Wait, at it if it gives you any. I'm gonna move. Do you get advantage? I'm gonna be standing on top of Revy. Okay. So that I get advantage. That's from all the times you jumped off his back and shield. Yeah. And oh man, nine to hit. That was with advantage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get any like proficiency bonuses on you. Um, yeah. You're aiming for this table and you miss the table. Oh, well, it's a six. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> I shrugged. All right, attack you're up. The trident, which I've now mastered. The highest is 19, so it's, That's still, it. it's still pretty good. Yep. Kill it! <laughs> I did more damage this time! 11 damage! Nice. 11 damage. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, this is with the trident? Trident! Okay, you leap up and slam down in the middle with the trident and the table, the to make just go <laughs> splits in half. Nice. Falls over dead. I'm gonna go into Revy's pack and see if I can find a medicine kit. You do, you find Where a medicine you? kit. And then use it on him. Okay, uh, you are stabilized at zero hit points. And then use it on Hatch. He's gonna have to do another death save first. Roll the death save. Round, Twelve. Okay, oh, you so you got it. Um, so you're now stabilized at zero hit points. Sweet. And you guys so are. So this is sweet. Just I mean. <laughs> um, I cast silent image on the wall, and it says in a scroll. Oh, that's smart! It says, "Swim up to heal?" Question mark. No, you have time. I'm just looking at the. I I'm gonna look at the other room. Yeah, we we'll, we won't be able to come back down here. Either. I'm gonna go. <laughs> And I'm gonna cast it on. And I'm gonna cast it again against the wall and say, but it's only been X minutes. <laughs> How long has it been? Or, or X is the amount of time, time I guess it is. You guys have probably been down here. Because you came down pretty quick. Ten minutes? Uh, I'd say th- a minute to get to the bottom. Maybe two minutes. You probably went ten minutes to find the ship. And five minutes to get in there, and you fought it and beat it pretty quick. Like I said, it's only been 18 minutes. 18 minutes. <laughs> and I'll I would say the this, guy. I'll say 20 minutes. You can carry the heavy guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you know my strength? It's underwater. It's fine. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Um. Just take his bracers. <laughs> <laughs> Those bracers. That's the only armor I can get, man. You're you're unconscious. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're arguing with, yeah. Mister Man, who's wearing no bracers. He's having a bad. <laughs> he's having a really bad dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. The question is, do we take the staff back? It's oh, sitting oh, on the floor oh, here. We don't have room for that. Oh. <laughs> what staff? Yeah. <laughs> So, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna try to lift this guy. Can I swim carrying the lighter of the two of these guys? Uh, well, uh, also you had half speed again, now you got quarter speed. Oh, Jesus. Carrying I got them. rope so we can tie them behind us. <laughs> tie, the, tie them together and then tie, tie them together. together. <laughs> you go up and I'll keep looking at you. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah. We always come back to Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> 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 it's because you can heal. 
<laughs> You're gonna nail you off a of booty. Yeah, 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 exactly. Did you? Uh, I used to use some water skin. Oh, oh yeah, is this the same day? It is yeah. the same day. Yeah, you guys decided to go at night instead of heal and get your spells we back and get everything. <laughs> we're, we're in, we're down, we're out. <laughs> yeah. That's your rule number three, I think. <laughs> Don't let me talk. It's so rule number three. I guess we're not in battle anymore. I'll turn off this music. The, the super tense yeah. music ah! While you were dying. Yeah, yeah, it's a dying music. I do have three first level spells. No seconds. Uh-huh. <laughs> So they're gonna be useless in battle anyway. And they're stable. Which means they're Who took the book? I took the book. It was in your backpack? Yes. Yeah. Which means they're unconscious for an hour. I'm gonna go look in the room oh, beside us. What? Just I'm gonna go look in this room over beside us. Got a thing? Yeah. That like walk up the stair and back down again. Yeah. So it looks like you're coming into the captain's quarters. Oh, this is the good shit. I'm oh, he's got some first. healing potions, man. Guaranteed. Yeah. Got some Wait for everyone to go unconscious, and then go to these, the good shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a couple healing potions in his desk, I bet. Bubbling black green potion. <laughs> yeah, this is probably healing potions. That's <laughs> right. Shove it down your mouth. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> um, oh, by the way... Um, I might as well give you guys some, uh... You guys killed one reef shark? No, we killed a hundred sharks. Well, I thought you killed one. No, oh, he, 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 he swam his, away. He chopped off its tail. Yeah, you didn't quite... You, you, you didn't finish him off. Okay, Okay, you each right get now. 25 experience for the reef shark. Woo! You get uh, 450 split four ways for the hunter shark. Oh, uh, it's 112. 113. <clears throat> And you get 450 split four ways for the uh, mimic. That's 112 and a half, so 225. <laughs> so I'm just give 225 me. plus 20. For the two biggies. The 25 is split or not split? The 25 is already split, so it was 100. Okay. So 250 experience total. Exactly. Plus 90. Right. Oh, 250 yeah. total. 12 uh, I wonder how much these potions cost. <laughs> okay, uh, Baron, you're in the captain's quarters. Loot. Um, uh, like the captain's quarters. It contains a beautiful mahogany desk with a large chair behind it. Uh, it looks like there's a couple of uh, windows uh, behind the desk. And there were two windows uh, uh, in the oh, stateroom as well. Are the windows big enough for me to go through? No, they're kind of, they got the cross, kind of like at, at your manor where you had the cross bracing, okay. the, the metal diamonds. Um, there's a cabinet on the side. Uh, you look at it, it's got nothing on it but rotting paper. No on, on the top of it. Uh, hanging on a rack by the door. There's a floppy hat with a large feather in it. It's just kind of floating in the And it still looks like it's current. in good shape? It actually looks like it's in good shape. I put it on. <laughs> you put it on. All right. <laughs> Don't kill me. Uh, the hat and the, uh, and the feather. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 it just crushes my skull. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's all you see. It's just a cuttlefish. <laughs> it's got a feather sticking out of it? It's got like a big plume feather. Uh, is it purple? Perhaps? Typical pirate. Is it purple? Yeah. No, it's black. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so what do you want to do? I'm going to open the door behind me. And that? That's the way out, isn't it? No. No. The way out is the stairs between the... Oh, so, yeah, sorry, that. yeah, it's the stairs is the way out. That actually shouldn't even be there. That door? Yeah, it shouldn't be there. I'm going to erase that. But. There's no door there. Oh. Where was there? Oh, there is, is a door here? here? Yeah. Okay. It's, I just drew it screwy. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry. There is a door there. There is a door there. Is it a mimic? No. <laughs> it is not a mimic. It opens up in... That's what a mimic would say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am not a mimic. I am a table. <laughs> I mean, no. we do have a talking door at home, so talking tables are not super far. Yeah, now that I get these guys ready to leave... I, I am. 
Good. So what do you want to do? Uh, it's it's still rusted like the other doors. Maybe the dragon can help him. Bring them up to the dragon and be like, Puppy dog guys! Tie us, just tie us to the helm. Tie them to the dragon. The dragon can take them up. Yeah, actually. <laughs> um, tie us to the helm for now. Tie us to the helm. Did you guys bring them up to the aft deck there? I am. Okay. As you do that, the dragon swoops in and sees you guys. Kind of looking at the two of you unconscious. Grabs um, <laughs> each of you in his claws. Yes. And goes flying up at full speed. Oh, oh, that's really nice of you, Naughty. Uh oh. <laughs> They'll be fine. You thought they were part of the loot. 50 <laughs> 50. <laughs> 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 oh! Uh, you, guys, <laughs> you guys are placed inside the boat. Okay. On top. That's super nice of them. We have no idea where the boat is or anything, though. No. <laughs> and the dragon comes back after a boat. A minute. He's gone for like a minute because he okay. went up there pretty quick. Damn. Damn. I'll cast a. And he just looks at you guys. <laughs> Shameful. And Correct. just and then just does a slow circle around the boat again. <laughs> or he looks at you at least. You're under. You're underneath. I'm going back down and trying to find this exploratory door. Are you okay? You gonna find him? You're not gonna check out that door? What? Hell no. He can't yeah. Rule number one. <laughs> Send Don't people to the boat. Rule number two. <laughs> <laughs> Stick, together. Stick together to the live ones. All right. You guys are out for one d four hours. So. <clears throat> no. so you're going after. You're going to open this door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's locked and it's kind of rusted. The hinges are rusted. The lock is rusted. I will smash the lock. Extra roll strength check. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. It's not as bad as the ones up top, uh, but you open this up. You are so bad at opening doors. I don't like to try, try it anymore. I'm making, I'm making a long short again. Way better. And it's kind of a lower deck. You see uh, shells with cannonballs. You start to see cannons there, but it's kind of obscured darker down further on. Uh, huge silt pile right in the middle. Uh-huh. It looks like it maybe came in. Is that a hole above us? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of above there. No. Is it about this? No, there's a hole underneath there. Okay. Oh, and then you're falling over map. So you can kind of see like the cracks in the map above. In an, an absolute um, pinch, do I think we can fit through it? No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. And there's. um it's playing escape route. There's barrels and seaweed and all this crap kind of mixed in with this big giant silt top pile. It kind of looks like it filtered through that hole. Uh, and then you kind of see some cannons. Uh, but the cannon flaps are I'm trying to commu- closed. I'm trying to think of how to communicate with you. There's there's cannon flaps here, but they are closed. Are they big enough for me to go through? They would be if oh, you okay. open it. They look like they're big enough. I go open a cannon flap. Okay. Um, to you me. just have to maybe push the cannon over a little bit to get through. Uh, so you Is can it roll a, a, roll a strength. Cannon? Huh? Is it a mimic cannon? Well, let's find out. <laughs> I go and push the cannon. Okay, do a strength check. I'll I help. use I'll help. his quarter step. So with advantage. Push the cannon. With advantage. No, my quarter step's gone. It's now a long sword. Probably not the best push. Not your quarter step. His, his quarter, quarter step. step. So okay. do a strength check it's with a advantage. With advantage, see? This is no, he's helping you. That's I'm right. helping Oh. You. I don't notice you. Uh, 11. Yeah, you kind of move it a little bit, but I haven't really got to move it that far. Can I do it again? Or can we do it again collectively? Sure. Oh, it's still better than me. Oh, so it's just a, it seemed like it moved a certain mountain and it just won't go any further. Okay. Do okay. Make it going, I guess. Do yeah. Wait. <laughs> Quick explore, then get the fuck out. Twenty-five minutes. <laughs> this will translate so good yeah, yeah. to the podcast. <laughs> it was just like 30 minutes of guys making gurgles. Like, one star out of five. Yes. One guy <laughs> Definitely a low point of this story. <laughs> it sounded like Scooby Doo yeah. just by himself. <laughs> Died and started whining about it, and then the rest was gurgling noises. It was so. two Scooby Doo's talking to each other. <laughs> I'm not sure why my underwater voice is Scooby Doo somehow. 
Okay. Um, so once we've created the escape hatch, we you're gonna keep going. We tried and it didn't work. Oh, I thought we could. <laughs> oh, this, this sword's are disposable. Let's use it as a lever. <laughs> and I'll try. Make it longer, don't we? Oh. Oh, there you go. It's all about engineering. It's a twenty. Natural twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen? Yeah, you uh, you use uh, revenant staff and you just <laughs> or your or your trident. Uh, no, I I made a new sword. A okay. Long sword. Made so a long you, sword. you get the leverage and you're able to push this. And if I damage it, I make a new one. <laughs> the, the cannon moves. Uh, apparently, you have more strength than the dwarf. And you can open up the hatch. You could get out if you wanted to. Okay, I I will prep the hatch. Okay. As it, a escape. It's kind of. Yeah, there is something to hold it open because otherwise the cannons would be blowing it up. <laughs> yeah, so there's a little thing. Open you can the hatch! <laughs> yeah. you guys, you guys leaves it, falls down. No, you gotta hold it open. Yeah, like, it's part of the cannon? Like, <laughs> Takes out half the side of the ship. <laughs> or just the dude's like arm gets blown up every time. He's really wrong now, this time, guys. We need to hire some more hatch holders. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you have a hatch that you could get through if you okay. wanted to. Yeah, we have a hatch. Did you hear that? Oh, you've replaced me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like really five we have a new hatch. That was no problem at all. All right. So you move forward and more crates. You can look up and you can see where maybe this was the uh, kind of the opening where they would load the ship up. Oh, okay. It's closed currently. And remember, you saw a whole bunch of on top. There. there's a whole bunch of crates on top of it. But, right. And there's more cannons along the side. There's barrels and crates all along here. I guess. Or I'm gonna walk towards the crates. Okay. Um, and poke them with the quarter staff. <laughs> do the same thing with the sword. Poke. Poke. Yeah. Uh, most of them just almost collapse from any kind of touching, and it's just you don't even know it is. It's full of silt and something that's rotted or oozes out. <laughs> I'm assuming. This is where the treasure is, so I'm gonna put a little bit more time into looking through these. Okay, roll an investigation check. What, what are you investigating? I'm looking for treasure that a dragon might like in that. This whole area? Well, or in the crates, at or what? At particular crates. Okay, roll an investigation check. Yep. I'm more aiming for the barrels. Two. Uh, for me, 19. 19? Um, yeah, the barrels don't seem like they have anything it's just yeah. junk uh you you rolled a 19 yeah you see something glisten in the silt pile oh like back here yeah it's kind of like this big silt pile that kind of comes down uh, yeah there there's junk in it too mm -hmm. and poke, poke with the quarter staff poke, and i poke. i swim yeah. over to the uh silt pile so I, like let me describe the silt pile oh uh it's all men are junk Planks, seaweed, broken plates, kind of sticking out of it. Uh, barely. Um, everyone roll a per, or a, you two roll a perception check. Seven. You guys can too if you want. Ooh, I'm rolling. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> I perceive an okay dream. Twenty-three. Okay. So you see, <laughs> kind of near the top, there's a bunch of seaweed and stuff like that just floating in there. It actually looks like two flowers, almost like bulb <laughs> flowers, floating in the air at the top. Different than. Different than the seaweed. It's kind of like a stem with a round mm. top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Scooby Doo show. <laughs> From Scooby to the monsters on Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Up. So, yeah, what are you guys doing? I'm poking towards the towards the center of that. Space. Like just so the poking center. in there? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to guide his hand towards where the shiny thing was. Okay. Put my arm on, or my hand on your arm. Uh, roll an investigation and check. Guide it. <laughs> After... Nine. He's guiding us to roll with advantage. Ooh. What'd you get? <laughs> Ten. Six. You gave me one. Okay. You added one to my roll. 
Um, you, what are you poking in there? Quarter staff. Okay, so um, uh, he never retracted the claws. So as you're pulling it out, I don't know how to do that. It <laughs> snags on something and it pulls out a pouch oh. containing something. I whip, I flip the pouch over. Uh, I want to play the crane game. Where I put a dollar in. A <laughs> hundred gold, po- uh, gold <clears throat> coins. Uh, I flip that over. To, actually, I don't have any money. Gold pieces. A <laughs> hundred gold pieces fall out. So you have a hundred gold pieces. Okay. There's a hitman and for honor. For honor. Oh, hitman. I'm gonna just give a, another cursory glance at that cell pile from as far away as possible. Okay. Roll an investigation. Five. It looks kind of what the first time you saw it, it looks just motionless. Okay, I'm going to continue to poke in with the quarter staff. <laughs> what? Is that the. What? Mm-hmm. In? In. I poke in. once more. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you t- tack, tackles, Baron. <laughs> tack, tackle. Uh, you, you said you were poking in, so uh, yeah. roll an investigation check. I wanted to play the crane game. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, it hooks onto another bag heavier. Mm-hmm. You pull it out? This one's for me. Pull it out with a sleight of hand, please. A sleight of hand? Why would I need that? Oh, no. I'm very dexterous. Is this the crane game? Eight. Eight. Oh, you're as dexterous as I am. So you, uh, <laughs> you pull the bag out, and it's a lot heavier. Um, it looks like the other bag, but it's bigger. Mm-hmm. Into my backpack. Okay. Uh, 200 gold pieces. Mm-hmm. 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 Add that to my three gold pieces. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, silt pile starts moving. And Adam. So as it starts moving and falling over, and something is moving underneath. I'm going it. out the. Uh, <laughs> out the uh, the, uh, two, the two bulbs turn around. <laughs> These eyeballs stare right at you guys. Swimming outside. <laughs> 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 Out the cannon door. Out the cannon door? Yep. Okay, so uh, this huge crab explodes out of the soap pot. Uh, um, does it sing a song? Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kiss the girl. Kiss the dwarf. <laughs> um, uh, roll a... Uh, <clears throat> Acrobatics check to see if you can get through the window fast enough. Oh, two. 19! Oh. Or 17. Oh. See you, Bear! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're out the door. Um, oh. You you uh, get your foot caught on the bottom of the cannonball. <laughs> and you're, you're stuck in there. Uh, this thing... Goes towards you, starts moving towards you. Roll initiative. Nine. Ten. One, better than you. Which is good, because I'm going to help you get out somehow. I'm going to create another level with my long sword. No, just grab one end of my quarter staff. What what did you you roll? Nine. I rolled a ten. And what did you roll? Nine, and I got a ten. (laughs) Alright, time for a music change. Oh, Jesus. That would seem pretty small. That's a zero. <laughs> we should open all the hatches and then we can just swim around and poke at it. <laughs> and then it retreats the other wall and you're like, poke at it. Yeah, we're so it off the side. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, this huge crab. Uh, it looks at you, sees you kind of go out the window and it looks at you. It is going to try to claw you. Wait, wait. Side move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it scuttles. Wait, no, no, no. You're outside. Yeah, so it's going to it's gonna do it. Oh, it moves towards you and tries to do a claw attack. That is an eight. That is not it. It, these big claws go at you and you duck. It snaps right over your head. Misses. Um, okay. What, your turn? I will disengage. Uh, no, tax turn. I will grab onto Berendin the third 
and try to pull him out first of his name. Alright, uh, roll a strength check. Oh boy. <laughs> roll 16. 16? I'm strong when I need to be. Alright, uh. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, you're able to. Uh, Don't remind me. <laughs> you're underwater. Roll a dexterity check for me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why am I rolling this dice on you? 11. Okay, so you're able to kind of bounce through the window a little bit, but this uh, crab is going to get an opportunity of attack. I disengage. I'm helping you. He can't possibly hurt me if I disengage. It's okay, there's a cannon in the way. What could he possibly do? Fire the cannon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. Uh, that is a 21 unnatural to hit. Um, so you take, not too bad, four points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. What? So you guys are playing tug of war with Berendon. Berendon's <laughs> on my side, though. So, uh, attack, uh... So it's going first, all right? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you have to roll a strength check to get out of it, and I'll let you say you have advantage because... He's helping you. Pulling me. Beautiful thing. Oh. Yay! 16. 16, yeah, you're able to just... Uh, red lobster out of that thing. And uh, you, you sneak through the window, and uh, this thing is snapping at the window, but you're you're free and clear. I want free jaws nice. against it, but it can't fit its claw through. Uh, uh. Roll an attack. <laughs> Uh, 17. Um, 19. 19? Are you crazy? So that hits. Use your charisma as your attack mod. That hits. Roll for damage. Eight, eight damage. Eight damage. Alright, you hit. This thing is just <laughs> trying to get through the wall. I'm going to stay as safe as possible so I can poke at it as long as it's trying to get through the wall. Uh, you guys are on the boat. Zero. Um, yeah, you actually wake up suddenly. Oh, okay. cool. You get five hit points each. Awesome. And the dragon, looking at you, try not to get killed again. And he goes back down. He goes back down without us. <laughs> you have no go. idea where the ship is. It's okay. Yeah. The lights. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Yeah, he took off. He didn't think about it. <laughs> you kind of have an idea based on because you went in this way and then you went that way. The dragon falls. So you could get it back there if you wanted. Okay, yeah, sure. Go, go. Fine. Um, Fine. You'll, it'll be a bit, but um, yeah, oh, that's a bit. Oh, oh, die claw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna die. We might as well die together. All right. So he ca- he cast a um, a healing spell on you guys. Minor. Minor. Yeah. Uh, so what are you guys doing? This, this, uh, hang on. Okay, it tries to attack the wood and open up the thing, but it's trying to splinter the wood open. Kill it! <laughs> with fire. As long as it's, as long as it's within reach. Stab it! Can I hit it with a war rammer? You can. Try. Okay. I'm gonna say with disadvantage, because it's a small opening. Fair. Mm. Seven. 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 Seven, you hit the uh, frame of the window beside it and splinters some of the wood. Oh, this. Opening gets a little bit bigger. This. <laughs> I'm going to create something with reach. Piercing. Pike! <laughs> Alright. I want to attack. Uh, roll an attack. Uh, 13. Uh, it kind of bounces off the armor and okay. it scrapes across it, doesn't do any damage. Crab gets a hold of part of the uh, uh, window frame, rips out a huge chunk. <laughs> there's probably uh, the window frame, and then there's a large chunk taken out below it. What are you guys going to do? Try to keep it a safe distance with my reach and stab it again. Ooh! 24. 24 hits. Like is. Undy 10 piercing. <laughs> uh, ten. Ten, ten points of damage? Alright. Oh, 
The crab is gonna keep going at that wall. Uh, it takes out another huge chunk. Um, it's big enough for the claw to get through now. I'm gonna take the dodge action. It's that he used his turn to attack them, so it's not its turn anymore. It is your turn. I will take the dodge action. Okay. Um, I will maneuver as far away as possible so that I can take advantage of the tempo reach and stare. Uh, okay, you notice its claws are pretty long too. It's okay. a big, big guy. It probably looks like it has 10 foot reach as well. Okay. Well, then I guess we're in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's in the boat. <laughs> yeah, you're not in the same boat. Uh, oh, yeah. He's not in the boat. Okay, crabs swim? I imagine they can. I would think so. They probably have tons of scuttle. Now, now that I think about it, I've never seen a crab like swim. I've only seen them like scuttle. Like, You've never seen a shark's tongue either, have you? That's true, yeah. You got a close-up view. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very close. I don't know. At least it's taller one. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... With a hard piece of cardboard. Um, I will disengage and swim up to the... There is a shark tooth in your shoulder. <laughs> oh, cool. So you know. From, from the big guy. Because the big guy chomped on you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big one, so you got a big shark tooth. Cool. I disengage and swim up to here. Okay, so you're up above uh, above the window, kind of on the ledge, yeah, the railing. Be, yeah, I want to have. You can stand. Like, you can stand on the railing if you want. Have high ground. Okay. Um, motion for you to follow me. And the way you've seen this thing um, move, claws aren't like, huh? They're kind of like this. Yeah. So if you're above it, you might be okay. Um, it's gonna. Ooh. It. Tries to attack you. Rolled a natural twenty and a seven. <laughs> Good dodge. Yeah, dodge. It uh, yeah, just reaches out, and you are able to just back up out of its reach. Uh, actually, it is your turn. I will disengage upward. Okay, you go up. So you guys are about... How tall is the ship? Uh, you guys are about 10 feet up from the floor below. Because okay. you're standing on the railing. And you just see this below, this crab's just going to town on the side of the ship, just trying to get out. Uh, you just see every once in a while, you see... I'm ready to stab it. Uh, so you're just going to wait for it to come out, like hold your action or what? Yeah. Okay, so eventually this thing gets through the wall. It's, it's going to take a bit. And I would say that you guys are now uh, at the... Um, Anchor. Dodge action. Okay. On that anchor. side? Anchorage. The anchor over there. Yeah. Anchorage. I'm ready actually. At the bottom, uh, on the silt floor, yeah. not on the ship. Okay. Um, so this crab comes out and yeah, uh, do your hold action then. Uh, 11. 11, uh, what were you doing? Just stab, just stab with the pike? Yep. Yeah, it just scrapes across this armor. Doesn't seem to pierce it. Push it down. <laughs> Push it down. But you're 10 feet away. Yeah. Above. So, uh, Baron? Dodging. Keep dodging. Okay. Uh, this thing kind of breaks through and looks for you and it just falls to the silt below. Uh, it's at the bottom of the... It's at the bottom of the, the ship there on the, on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. So he showed on that map. He attacks both of you with each of his claws. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, I'm down again. I'm just gonna go back inside. So <laughs> shit, I sell some more. Yeah, there's probably lots of other stuff. Okay. Um, this crab is gonna see if it can see you guys. Natural twenty. Uh, it looks around and the eyes <laughs> it sees you guys standing on the thing. It knows you're bad after all. It knows you're up on the ship. It's gonna attempt to try to climb the ship. It's 
side of the ship. I mean, it got into the ship. It can. Oh, did it get into it? The can climb. It was, it was smaller than born inside the ship. And then adventurers just kept feeding it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they had a clear path to safety, i.e. being in a boat... There's something shiny in there! Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, It's starting to climb the side of the ship. Yeah. We just head back in into the ship. Head back in? Okay, you can head back in if you want. Through the door that we... Back into the captain's quarters? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys are in there. How wide is the staircase? Uh, it, it's, it's small. Like, it's, it's meant for ships. Regular ships. Yeah, yeah, like two feet wide or something. Okay. It's not going to make it through there. Thanks. Uh, so by the time you get down there, it doesn't see you go in there. Well, I'm going to wait. You're going to wait? At the top of the stairs. Okay, so you wanted to see you? Yeah. Okay, so it gets to the top and it sees you. And Bang. My shield. Starts scuttling <laughs> towards <laughs> you. And then I go what are you guys doing? Um, I have no idea this is happening. Yeah. No, you don't. So I'm, yeah. just, you're, I'm, I'm thinking yeah. you're climbing the chain. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Alright. So. <laughs> you're going to kill them twice. That's, that's still a long ways. It's dark. Yep. You don't see what's happening on the side of the ship. Everything looks safe. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We're just going back. Oh, you guys are swimming in the dark, too. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no light. <laughs> Jesus. You're feeling your way around. <laughs> well, one guy's got dark vision. And the other <laughs> one, I'm just yeah. like holding on. <laughs> so you can, see, you can see like 10 feet. Okay. So you can find your way, but you have no idea what's coming. <laughs> so this thing starts <laughs> working away at this door. If I get a chance, I'll take my free pike attacks against it while it's yeah, yeah. stuck at the door. Are you sure. You get a, get a shot? Ooh, 24. 24 well, hits. Right down, loot. Ooh, 14 damage! 14 Wait, damage. Critical zeros! <laughs> I know, but I like this, this one. You see so cracks like forming on the shell of this thing. Nice. Oh. Those guys will have it, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you guys doing? As long as I feel I'm safe, I'm going to have to swap me towards it. Alright, walk towards it. As far as you know, there's. What about the normal round? You don't even know there's a crab there. <laughs> you never saw it. And you don't know you're there. Nope. Yeah. No we, idea. we just think we're going back to help out. Do our I get another free attack? attack? Um, yes, I'll s- give you another. Safe attack. I'm looting. Woo! The same roll. roll. <laughs> okay, I will use the regular dice ray. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. This, this crab starting to. This is like in Baldur's Gate where you like can't kill something, it's way too strong for you, so you just keep staying under the stage and getting one free the, shot. The, <laughs> the tree. You, you <laughs> notice his crab stop working and he's steps takes a step back. <laughs> <laughs> it looks rough. You're gonna have to come out to reach it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you guys are you heading out? <laughs> oh well you're moving forward, so you're jumping over the rail and yeah. or going down the stairs. Okay. Yeah. So you see there's some boxes. What we do not see is a crab. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, this so what's happening is this crab is yeah. your vision. This crab is feeling not too good. And it's heading this way. Do you guys do you have my weapon? I poke everything with it, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm down in the pile right now poking shit. Thanks. Yeah. Testing to see if it's a mimic, but yeah. it's a nice brand it's new stuff. Mimic anti mimic stick. Alright, um, you guys are moving forward. You're clearly not as skilled with if, the anti-mimic stick as If I, I see it moving away, what I'm, my plan is, which will take me two turns, is to uh, drop the pike, create a trident, because you can throw tridents, and try to get like one last pot shot from the door. Okay, uh, we'll take a shot then. I'm not good at this because it doesn't give me my normal bonuses. <laughs> so, no, I oh. <laughs> You pierced through these two. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Inflicting uh, five points of damage. That each. will be... <laughs> Six. 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 Okay, so it just kind of goes over the railing. <laughs> so it is. Say, Libby. This thing is here. I'll watch to see where it goes. You guys are here. Uh, no. yeah. You see a large object uh, moving in front of you. It's a dragon. Probably the dragon. You're yeah, fine. yeah, probably the dragon. Yeah. What else? What else <laughs> this thing is gonna roll a perception check. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a shark. Very silty. The crab stops, but it's not sure. Sees you or it's something. Something's different. <laughs> it's not sure, so it stops. You see a large 
mass in the darkness in front of you. You don't know what it is. What do you do? I'd follow Wait, you. So yeah, I'm just gonna come over. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Investigate, assuming it's a dragon. And let's roll initiative. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> just as soon as the song goes. Oh. Uh, five. Seventeen. I'm keeping you guys in the initiative. Uh, what, did, what did I find in the last few rounds in the pile? We'll get back to that. Hatch? Five. Alright, Revenant, you get the uh, first hit. Alright. Or punch. <laughs> hit it with it, your core. Oh, yeah, you need you need the fists. Oh. You can have crab fists. Yes, please. Oh, oh, you you weigh, the, weigh the crab. Yeah, you have crab claws. <laughs> Brains to crabs. Oh. You have like a brain uh, crab hybrid. I'm to. <laughs> because I'm, I'm also I, my flurry of blows. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a real monk now. He's not using a weapon. Fifteen. He's all grown uh, up. Yeah, you, you do this flurry of blows and it just slides off the armor. It wasn't quite enough to Ooh, do any, to hit wow. it. Wow. It's crab. That's all they are is armor. <laughs> the crab sees you. I use the rest of my armor. armor and and yeah, armor and taste. Uh, and yeah, but you are in melee combat with this thing now. You basically bumped up into each other, so yeah, you are in melee. Stay, Let's walk towards that dark black. Mass. Yes, you can. You can like jump up on the railing what could there. Could possibly and... go wrong. Uh, I know yeah. this way, that way. Okay. Yeah. It's not like you're I injured or anything. Okay. Uh, you guys are flying. Remember, you had half speed. Yeah, there. I moved to there. Okay. So you're not quite flanking, but uh, Stupid meddling the crab giving you guys uh, just is going to try and hit you. Yeah. Okay, use a key point to dodge. Is that an the automatic miss? Like, Heal! You go down to the surface unconscious. Heal! Go back down, blood up to the surface unconscious. You can skip a couple uh, of these. Rolled a 19 and a 4. Heal that. Nice. So yeah, it missed you. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so it's big claws. Just it's a big claw. Just, nice. this big claw just yeah. and you just jump up and it goes right underneath you. And you just... You slowly float down to the silty bottom. Uh, hatch. Can you move into flank? Can I? Uh, my movement is. Oh yeah. 30. Yeah, you got enough. You got enough to move into flank. You see what you see right. what he's doing. I'm gonna move into flank. Uh, rage. <laughs> and um, I'm going to. I'm gonna attack recklessly. So spread a little butter over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a little stick of butter out of it. Just some prep work. Put it on your yeah. yeah. That's right. Um, bib. <laughs> All right. That's, that's a mithril bib. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> you pull up these claw crutchers in. <laughs> yeah, can you uh, that, that's create one of those? Yeah, there you go. You could. Hey, Jack, you gotta create one of those craw yeah. claw crunchers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the closest weapon. So, so we're in planks, I got advantage. Yeah. So, war I should pick. be able to hit. A war pick. That would be pretty uh, close. So, that's going to be 19. That hits. Awesome. And they really uh, kind of made the weapons more. Oh, 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 16 damage. That is exciting. It's the it's definitely a shorter list. He's right down the middle. Shit. Again. Oh. Yeah. Cracks open, you meet, Woo! and just these entrails start floating out. Okay, so Dead. Awesome. Kills the crab. Patch with the Ooh, finishing blow. Yes, yeah, twice. Exactly. Hey, yeah. Nobody will never find one out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fast revenant move, so I have to use the long sword. The most so that one was 250, 250 experience, split four ways. Nice. 250. So another... Oh, that's a... Um, no, it's not. No, it's sixty-two or, points. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, checks out. Sixty-one point five. No, sixty-two point five. Sixty-one point five. So sixty-three. Sixty-two point five. So sixty-three. Two fifty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty-two. So sixty-three points. Ninety-three. Are you doing anything with the crab body? Uh, can I eat some of the meat? Yeah. You can uh, harvest some up. meat. Yeah. 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 I'll give you one shot because you see a dragon swooping in. Oh, okay. <laughs> what should I roll for this? Uh, just a medicine check. Can I break off a leg? Oh, that's not. You each can have an action. Uh, nine. Nine. So. You don't really get in there. Yeah. Oh, that's I I no, that's a one. That's yeah, a you don't. One. You know. 
don't even know what, you, what do we do you with You sprain your finger on, trying to break yeah. a leg off. Uh, while you're doing this... Um, you're gnawing on the shell. Like, oh, I don't get why people like this stuff. <laughs> yeah, Zellifarn comes in and just quietly just grabs it and he pulls it and takes it off to feast hey, on it. That's his half. Yeah, that counts. Could have made bank on that crab meat. Yeah. I believe the deal was half the treasure. Okay, so yeah. I probably didn't notice to get murdered because so I'll be done looting the silk pile with you. All right, you guys have a boat. Fifteen minutes left. <laughs> yeah, just came in and killed this weak ass crab. <laughs> you guys are just like yeah. fucking amazing. Like, awesome. is, like, I just came in you, and one hit this crab. You actually see a bunch of silt coming through the cracks above, like something's going on above you. Okay. You hear the boom, 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 of a fight above you. That's just a crab fucking around above us. Yeah, you think it's probably just a crab. Yeah. Yeah. No way those guys would be back in five minutes nice. and be dumb enough to go back in yeah, the car. So, you know, what kind There's of no way they would be back. <laughs> what kind of half There's sun brain? tanning in the boat. <laughs> or moon tanning. All right, uh, so what are you guys doing? Looting everything. And we're well, going to follow where, they're, where we're like, going to go. You guys are going to go down. Yeah. Back into the yeah. where we last saw them in the medic thing. So you were in this... In the stateroom where you last saw them. Yeah. They're not there. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do? Go through the door? I'll let you guys do an investigation while they're trying to find you. There'd be light. Yeah, you see a little 18. bit of light under the crack of the door. 18? Is that our investigate? Yeah. Okay. Um, I arrived late, but I roll an 18. Okay. You I'm proficient. are digging through this now. Yep. It looks like it's clear. I'm not worried you about pull out a gold... There can only be one enemy per so far, obviously. You pull out a small gold statue of a coiled snake. No. Gold snake. And what did you roll? 18. Um, you pull out a one... You pull out one 10-pound silver trade bar out of the pile. Sick. Woo! <laughs> no, it's all one pound. So oh, you see a it's light under the yeah. door leading in oh, that way. Yeah. No, because that door is locked. That door was never opened. Can we walk over here? Okay, you see that door open. Okay, so you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your turn. Okay. So you guys can do. Uh, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of mimicking uh, going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wood chopping. Mimicking, chopping. chopping wood. Shoulders. Yeah. Hatch is chopping wood. Well, do you get it back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grappling contest. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were using it to stir the soup. Yeah. It's sort of um, like, uh, <laughs> roll a sleight of hand check, actually. Sleight of hand. Yep. I tossed it to him already. Sure. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Just want to make sure you didn't activate anything. Oh! My rolling one. Launches at me. Yeah, you don't really know or what do it does. Do the thing that like launches you, so you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting back for <laughs> so nothing happens. Um, you so you get there, they get to do another investigation check. Okay, there's about 15 minutes left hey, of water breathing. Deep searching stuff. What'd you get? One natural one. Three. Three. Uh, you're digging through, and you you find you find some rocks and seaweed. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, okay. You can't. We won't be able to find anything without you know light. When I walk ten feet away, you won't. Yeah, but if I walk away, you're Four? not gonna find anything. Four. Yeah, you're digging through. Um, you find. An old broken plate. Uh, you, you just got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> hey! He puts it in his back. So we're about, yeah. we're about 12 minutes in uh, down. Right. Jesus, that round took three minutes. Hurry up. Right, it's a while to dig through. Let's walk this way. Okay. I'll follow. I'm kicking through the rest of the pile until I'm content with this. Okay, well, then. Um, well, I'm sticking with this guy, so. Okay, well, you, you guys roll an investigation each. 11. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. 
pack. Um, you're digging around, you feel something metallic. Uh, you start pulling it out. It's beautiful, beautiful longsword. Oh, 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 oh. Looks in mint condition. Yeah. Oh, mint mint Good old stainless yeah. steel. <laughs> That's some 316 grade stainless steel. I shall steel name you after eight. <laughs> <laughs> Baron, you're digging around and you feel something stringy and kind of clasped on it. It's like a string. You pull it out and you find a necklace. Oh, okay. Beautiful necklace. I'm still walking this way. Okay, so we'll uh, do you guys then. So it keeps going. And it comes to um, stairs that go up, right? And it's cannonballs here on shelves, and a, and a hallway that kind of goes that way. Oh, this was like open air stairs. No. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. Sir. But these go up to those doors, so you go through that doors oh. and they immediately go down okay, the stairs. Okay. Oh, okay. Twenty thousand pieces of paper here. <laughs> Oh, 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 I don't see it. Oh, five feet we got. Ten feet. Ten okay, feet. yeah. So you see a corridor down there. <laughs> it's like 12 and a half feet. <laughs> and Hatch, you're staying at the, the silt pile? Yeah, I'm staying with those guys because uh, the light. Light. Right. So you're, what are you doing? I'm going on the corridor. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for mimics, man. <laughs> Shit. You, you see, okay, uh, we'll never find you again. yeah, we won't know your dad. It's fine. Seen you see a, a hallway and there's doors there and there, okay, uh, to your left and right. Further down, there's more doors to your left and right. And at right. the end of the hall, well, what 30 feet down is a door at the end of the hall. Okay, what would you like to do? Take my first left, okay. All right, so once we're done with the bow, um, so what well, you guys all roll an investigation check again. Natural 20. No. Oh. 11 again. Woo! I did find my Minty Mick Minterson. An 11? Yeah, 11. So um, <laughs> maybe I'll find another wood. You find a wooden plank? <laughs> Tack? What did you roll? Six. Wooden plank? You find, you find just more silt. Does it look an awfully good I shape? will let you pick a number of your choosing. Oh, From what? 1 to 20. From 1 to 20? Yeah. Uh, 20? Let's go with... Go with 20! <laughs> 20 is clearly the best, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with 17. Oh, you should have gone with 17. No, that one was taken. Oh! What? Oh! That was his longsword. Long no, my longsword was 11. Oh, yeah. No, you rolled them. No, I rolled. Oh, I see, I see. Do I get to pick another number? You get to pick any number from 1 to 20. Except. S sand 7. Except 1, 3, 5, 11, 13, and 17. I'll go with 20. All right. Seems you. One uh, you, you go in there and you feel something metallic. You reach in and there's something beside it also metallic. You pull them out. Oh, you are holding these two steel gauntlets. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Very barbarian. They look very shiny and new. Shiny. <laughs> Can't wear bracelets right. and gauntlets. You take yes, your first. You can. <laughs> You take your first left, right? Yep. First left. First left. Um, you come in here, it looks like a barracks. barracks. Um, is there any trunks or anything in there? There's a trunk, There's so there's six bu bunk beds, and there's okay. a trunk in front of each bunk bed. All right. Uh, does it take me a turn to open? Some are kind of scattered, and the beds are kind of rotting. Okay, is there anyone, any of them that look like they're in decent condition? Ah, they all kind of look the same, kind of half rotted. And... Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, man. Does it take me a whole turn to search for each one? <laughs> no, you do an investigation you for the room. Okay, right. I'm gonna do an investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Right as you're done. Yeah. Yeah. I own it. It's great. That's a great kid. I think I'm almost... I'm almost That's on one. Yeah, you don't find anything. Nope. I'm like, way over level for the story. <laughs> Like level 46. Uh, the story's like level 20. You were herbalizing everything for in the starting zone? Mining everything? Well, I was, I was like, oh, I need to have all um, the capacity upgrades. Yeah. There's about yeah. 10 minutes left. Okay. 
Okay, we gotta get out of here. What are you guys doing? It took us two minutes to get down, you said? Did we all strike out? No, you found something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna do one more search and then I'm gonna go up. 17. Uh, yeah. You have to do another search. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Come on. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. You don't find anything. You find. <laughs> Drain the salt. You find an, an odd shaped rock. Oh. Hey. Is it no. Just seems rock odd. Rock worth taking? Or? It just has a weird shape to it. Okay. I'm <laughs> taking the odd shape. You are intrigued by the odd shape. Rock. Inspection. <laughs> what did you mean? the one thing that lets you not swim up to the surface. You're like, ah, oh, I can't drop the odd shaped rock, guys. It's a lodestone. <laughs> it's a lodestone. <laughs> you find some seaweed. Alright, I think we struck out. I don't think that counts. I've taken the rock. No, I know, but I think we struck out. I think the pond's empty. What did I say? It was 10 minutes or 5 minutes? 10. 10 minutes. Yeah, so you have 10 minutes. I'm going up. I'm taking an additional left. This far one? I'm wearing armor. Oh, yeah. So it turns into another... Okay, well, I can catch you, so I'll search one more time. Turns into (laughs) another uh, barracks. What do you want to do? Uh, investigate. Okay, roll. Um, seven. Uh, yeah, you don't find anything. Everything seems rotting away. Okay. Um, you guys are going to do... I'm going up. You're going up? To the surface. Through the cannon door and up. Straight okay. Up. Um, oh, it's a big door. It's crap door. Yeah. Uh, roll a strength check. See what you can carry. What do you have so far? Uh, hat, gold snake, necklace, and odd rock. Yeah, you're carrying it for a bit. I would, uh... What did you roll? Ten. So, I'll let you take up, um... Two items at a time. Two items at a time? To get you to the top deck. Ditch the hat, man. No. (laughs) The hat weighs nothing. (laughs) (laughs) But you have 200 gold pieces and 100 gold pieces. Oh, well, he's got bags. the 100. I got the 100. Oh, so okay. I get the stone then, I guess, if that counts, and then. Yeah, so gold. The, you have the weird stone counts. and you have the 100 gold. 200 gold. 200 gold. Yeah, yeah so. so that's four you can bring okay. those two up. Okay. And you place it on the deck. That's it for me. I'm just going to stay up. Dragon grabs them, <laughs> brings it up to the boat. Oh. He's taking the course. He's there as well. Oh, on the he, up here. He, he yeah. you put oh, it on the okay. front, on the top deck. The gra- dragon nods you, and he okay. brings it up to the boat. So I'm gonna head up to the. Surface. You're gonna go to the surface too. Yeah. Okay, so you you, you Can make I grab the, the dragon. Yeah, roll a. Uh, <laughs> I'll try. A roll grapple? a grappling check. Or, oh, oh I crit fail. Crit fail. <laughs> Just you get <laughs> smacked in the it's face by the tail of the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you. Uh, but you're very slow. But you will eventually make it up. You get up near about 100 yards away from the boat. You gotta swim over to the boat. Dude, the only one that's not gonna die of, uh, what's it called? That nitrogen bends. compression? Yeah, the bends. Because <laughs> you went up Because I went up so I was like, look at all our treasure, guys! You get to the top, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> That's right, die. You get all this stuff. Or the dragon would, eh? Um, <laughs> you the dwarf, because yeah. he's coached. Can you what are you doing? Swim up, going in that indoor. Alright. You go in the indoor. indoor. You're following. And it looks like the brig. Uh, oh. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's you good. see. You can easily keep up with him like that. Five okay. different cells. He's not gonna and you. each door has a barred window in it. He's wearing the gloves on, that's armor. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you sink. You're like, my <laughs> speed. Now you sink. Um. <laughs> Okay, so what do you see? <laughs> you, you guys may want to hear this too. This is. Uh, okay. Revenant found the prison in the ship. Ooh, the brig. Ooh. So all the doors have rusted locks and hinges with small barred windows. Um, you look at all, the, all these cells, and they all appear empty except this one. The center large one. It has a. Uh, Skeleton leaned up against the wall with its wrist shackled up to the wall. Uh, some rotting clothing hangs on it, kind of waves slowly in the current. Uh, roll a perception check. Don't do it. It's the wrong dice. <laughs> no. no, don't Peer use that pressure. one. Go back to the other one. Peer pressure. Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, you'll be fine now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you told you. What was it? <laughs> what did I tell you? You just didn't listen to A me. one? Oh, yeah. You don't get to roll again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so oh, okay. It was two ones. 
<laughs> yeah, so you see a skeleton. Remember so. group rule number two, never listen to me. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? Me? Oh, I'm going to go check out the skeleton. I'm going to go investigate it. Okay, well, the, the door appears like all the other doors were uh, rusted yeah. in there. So you're going to have to do a strength check to bust through the door. Right. <laughs> well, four. <Six. laughs> ah! You punch the door and yep. nothing happens. I'm going to use my flurry of bows hit it again. Okay. <laughs> About eight, eight minutes left. Um, Let's eleven. Faster. Eleven? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not moving. Yeah. Uh, there's about five minutes left now. Because I know I can catch up to him. I was going to take one last scrape through the Go so for it. Well, and yeah. I'm relying on dark vision alone. Okay. I'm, I'm straight up with the Woo! Nice. 21. You, you're going up? Yeah, so I'm not going to What did you get? 21. 21. Ooh, almost the perfect roll. You didn't roll a natural 20? No. Okay. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> no, natural 20 minus 1. Okay. Wait a I'm going to I'm gonna add. Oh, it is. Uh, what was your? Base roll? 19. 19. And what was your adder to that? Oh, plus 2. Plus 2. So I'll add okay. plus 2 onto this roll. I am proficient in investigation. Got another longsword. Yeah. Ooh. What? Uh, I rolled a natural 20, but that was already taken. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> took my natural 20. What did you get with the 20? The steel. Oh, Thanks. That was already taken. The anvil. The fucking anvil. <laughs> Looks magical. No. So you're reaching in there, you feel something kind of soft and leathery. Oh. Oops. Yeah. A pair of boots. Oh. They look really nice. Boots. Booties, like cowboy boots, or... I wrote down, I wrote down booties. Yeah, crocodile boots. Yeah, crocodile boots. <laughs> crocodile dandy. Well, Shark skin boots. Yeah. Ooh, dragon scale boots. Ooh, uh, did, did you roll? Or you went up? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm okay. just okay. So you made it up. So, yeah. Uh, attack is... That was it. Okay. Is sitting in there. What are you doing? Are you heading up? Um, There's five minutes left. Five minutes. And what, all do, you, what all do you have on you? Uh... I have a total of, I don't know what the boots weigh, I don't know what the longsword weighs, but I have two pounds of gold, a hundred gold pieces, and I have the ten pound silver bar. Okay, so if you bring the silver up, uh, the dragon would bring it up. If you, if you... Yeah, I'm not exactly strong, so I'm counting on him. Okay, so I'll, I'll say if, if you're leaving, you can bring everything up. Oh, I was going to try to bug this guy to get the fuck out of here before he gets himself killed. So, so you're going to walk over there? He did already once. That's true. So, try and knock that again? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think I can swim up that fast. Are you going to go to where he is? Yeah. Okay. Or where I think he is. Okay. Um, we'll move this character up there. We're only 150 feet down. Um, yeah. You see, you see him only like pushing up, rattling on this cage. Uh, was he looking through a window? Roll a perception check. Um, 60. Anyone I see, I'm gonna give you a message. Uh, so you see a skeleton uh, shackled to the wall. Um, a whole bunch of small, colorful fish kind of dart in and out of the skull and the mouth, rib cage, and all that. That's um, You follow one fish; it kind of swims amongst the bones, and it swims by something. You notice something shiny in the rib cage, but you can't quite make out what it is. Okay. There's about four minutes left of. I'm gonna in. cast. Um, like, oh, you might be able to see it. Uh, I don't know how dark vision works with text. <laughs> with text? Yeah. It's black and white. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll make, I'll, I'll do the same thing I've been doing. You just don't have the advantage of light. Um, and I will, uh, cast a minor image in front of you that just has a board that says, we gotta go. <laughs> Can you fish out that shiny thing in its rib? And let's How go. far away is it? What? The skeleton. It's like right at the, the yeah, peak how, of the... How far is that? Less than 10 feet. That's 10 feet away from the door. Grapple it. Grapple the skeleton to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and launch my grapple and pull it towards me. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Roll and attack. You guys are dead. Um, As you got a three-minute timer going. Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. And we're uh, 
Yeah, the, the grappling kind of yeah, hits the skeleton, yeah, yeah, and it just shatters into a bunch of pieces. Okay. Roll another perception check. It's amazing. We got this thing. We got this gold uh, thing, necklace, and this weird gauntlet. Something out of the rib cage falls to the silt, but because the silt got kind of kicked up, you can't quite see what it is. Maybe you roll a perception. Uh, eight. Yeah, you can't quite see what it is. How far away is it? It's small, it's How far away about is it? 10 feet away. I, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try and like, gra- like grapple past it and then like pull Kay. the string. Alright, I'll roll a, like an attack. Uh, 14. Okay, so you uh, shoot near the floor, near whatever it is, yeah. and you start pulling, and you notice it kind of comes out of the silt as you're pulling it, and then it slips off your grappling hook. Kay. It looks like a small porcelain egg. One last go, and I'm, I'm out. What are you going to do? I'm going to try it again. Do what? Grab it. Okay. Grab it, pass it, and pull it back. Uh, that's a 22. 22? Yeah. All right, so you get a really good shot, and it seems to be wedged in the yeah, grapple, yeah. and it pulls. Okay. Um, ro- roll a sleight of hand to see if you can lift it up the door and through the window. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was a high DC, man. Come on, Bruce. Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> so you pull this egg up, and yeah. you're able to reach in and grab it. Okay. And then, nice. Oh, we're heading out. We're leaving. We're going. Okay. Uh, so, ro- so roll right down a porcelain egg on your thing. Swim away. Um, you guys roll the dexterity check to see how fast you can. Yep. I'm no. swimming as fast as I can. Uh, well, first of all, no. 13. You have to. Get, first of all, you have to get out of the ship. Yeah. So, all right. Move uh, how many I get spots? 20. I would move 15 every six seconds. 20, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. So and you're going out the door, which is yeah, this one? Yeah. Okay, so you're there. Okay. That takes me 54 seconds. You don't see the dragon, you don't see anybody. Okay, we're going up. Yep. Swimming up. Swimming up. Time to get the bids. Uh, oh man, timer's running out. Uh, 14. <laughs> uh, well, you're just swimming up. Okay. It's half speed up. Okay. Uh, and that's, what's your speed? 20. 20. 15. So it's 100 feet. So, so okay, so round one, you go 20 feet, you go 15. Yeah. Round two, 40 feet, 30. Yeah. Round three, uh, 60 feet, and 45. 45. Uh, you start. <laughs> <laughs> running uh, as, as you feel yeah. the uh, well, there's no air to get in so, so you have uh, for the drowning I yeah. believe you have you can hold your breath now for the, whatever your constitution modifier is one minute yeah so you can hold your, what's your constitution what's, what's modifier? Your mm-hmm. so you can hold it for three minutes okay so uh, yeah you guys can get to this okay one. Just made it, and you come up and you're spit, spurting out water. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see the boat over there uh, hatches rowing towards you guys as he sees you guys. Yeah, we yell. <laughs> you guys climb in. You got your bounty. And, uh, you guys in the guys climb in. You got your bounty in the in the boat. All good. Um, Feeling kind of close. So cutting it a little close there. there. That's for sure. Um. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <That's clutch>. <laughs> <laughs> 17 followed by a 20. Yeah. The 20 is on that gil- uh, getting the egg out of the You see the side of the boat, this large bronze head kind of come up. Hey. Dripping water. You guys made it. <laughs> and he looks Barely. into the bottom of the boat. Oh, this looks good. 50-50, we said. Mm, that sounds fair. So, I want everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> initiative? Let's have the party go. we get the pick. That's what it is, probably. Ten. Three, Not seven. one. So what did four. you get? Seven. Four for me. What did you get, Baron? It's uh, 50. 50? Yeah. So... You pick first, then I pick. Then you pick, then I pick. Uh, and then um, Hatch picks, then he picks. So, what did you roll? Four. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Now one. Okay, so, so uh, Baron, you get the first pick, uh, and I'll read out what everything is. So there's a uh, hundred gold pieces. Uh, there's one ten-pound silver trade bar. The gold statue of a coiled snake. <laughs> You're all like, yeah, take the trade bar. That would be the best. <laughs> and I'm reading these in, in uh, random order. Modern so, you know. Okay, random order, all right. Uh, a necklace that you'd picked up. Mm -hmm. Some seaweed. <laughs> an odd-shaped rock. Just only put those in the pile in case the dragon's like, ooh! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna put a whole bunch of other stuff in the pile. <laughs> a heavy bag containing uh, 200 gold pieces. Just like crab meat. Yeah. <laughs> crab meat. Some boots. Uh, some gauntlets. Long sword. And a long sword. And the egg. And an egg. And a hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing the hat, aren't I? It's, it's part of the treasure. treasure Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> and a book. I take the hat off. And a book. Oh, Put yeah. the hat on thing. The book of wondrous answers. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, so, Baron, what is your what is your first pick? Yeah, I think the money first. The egg sounds pretty dope. I take the monster. Oh. No. I was going to take the monster. <laughs> it's not even worth 100 gold. We can trade it. That's true. It's, All right, roll it's, it's, it could be magic. Uh, write down a long sword. It's true. It's gonna like be a basic long sword. <laughs> two hundred gold could like get you a pretty <laughs> six. And long masterwork sword. long swords worth two hundred fifty. That egg was stuffed up that skeleton's ass for the last hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> obviously how prison dragon. Up with it. Dragon's looking at everything. And, mm, that's a good pick. And he's looking at the egg. No, we're so hard. <laughs> He's looking at the boots. Think of leather boots. <laughs> They're probably magic boots. <laughs> yeah, I can't wear boots. Yeah, what's he gonna do with boots? What's he gonna um, do with gold? <laughs> he's gonna take the bag of two hundred gold pieces. Oh, okay. That's a good Smart choice. move, dragon. He's gonna buy. It. Should I take the egg? Boots. <laughs> You're taking the egg? If you saw where it came from. I, where did it? Uh, well, it was from the pile, wasn't it? No. It's from the anus. <laughs> what? Why would Pris I want that? Prisoner Enos. Because it was worth stuffing. <laughs> it was worth stuffing up there. You taking the egg? Yeah. Good choice. And the dragon's looking at it. We worked hard for that egg. We're not giving it up now. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. yeah, not just for another half a pick from the pile. Yeah. You guys so long anyway. What the hell? Getting the anus egg. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you must have really been up in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right up, <laughs> Revenant. <laughs> Sock puppet revenue, we call it. <laughs> I think I want the gauntlets. Oh. That's right. Oh. Huh? Sad face. <laughs> you want them? Shakes his head. What do you uh. want? Maybe we could trade. What's the list again? Booties. So there's a bunch of gold and stuff like that in the yeah, statues. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, some boots. Gold. Gauntlets, the, and the, uh, the book, the hat, Ooh. necklace, odd shaped rock, oh. seaweed. Oh. <laughs> oh. A hatch would probably pick the seaweed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an artifact rock. Uh. No, the dragon says, I'm taking the gauntlets. Okay. Uh, hatch will take the, the book of answers. Hey, really? Yeah. That's what I was going to take. The book? Yeah. Over the booties? Yes, it, it was a tough choice, but Hatch wants to know Can if this book read? has... <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Hatch, oh. Hatch really likes picture books, and he's just really hoping that this has the key to building good doors. Interesting choice. Mm -hmm. So a dragon goes again. You know that's got to be magic, because a book doesn't survive underwater. Mm -hmm. He looks... Oh, I take the gold statue of the coiled snake. Oh, I wanted that. That does seem slightly fitting. It looks like my cousin. <laughs> I was so upset about that. Uh, next up is Revenant. So we have some boots. You have boots. Uh, you have... <laughs> the rock. <laughs> the rock? The sea. The rock. You have a hat. The hat. Yeah, the hat. Uh, you have a necklace. Necklace. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the hat. 
there. And the silver bar still. You have the silver bar. Okay. You have a bag of 100 gold pieces. I'm totally taking a rock. Are you? <laughs> Odd shaped Sorry. rock it's and seaweed. Where are going to get back to me? Um, I'll take the boots. Hopefully they have a plus one armor. Oh, imagine if I could move faster. <laughs> oh man, I mean, <laughs> 50 feet. <laughs> it used to be, what did it double your movement speed back in the day? It was just twice as fast back in second edition. Man, and thinking... it made it so busted for for the couple classes that we monks. researched. Yeah, yeah. 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 Monks, like, you just be able to, like. Well, like if you cast dash on a monk or something, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. If I, if I double dash with, like, twice speed boots, man. I move 160. When we did our uh, <laughs> when we did our one shot at level 20 yeah. battle royale, yeah, uh, right. I was going up against the monk. Remember the monk? Oh, you weren't there. I wasn't there no. And he was doing 120 feet every turn. It's insane. <laughs> uh, Dragon takes the uh, necklace. Oh, that's what I was hoping. That's what I was gonna go for. Well, it's the hat now. Baron. No. What else is left? Is the silver, silver and the hundred rock, gold pieces? Hundred gold rock. Yeah. Seaweed, 10 pound silver bar, uh, hat. I take the hat. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you want money? We get a magic shit. Are you crazy? The hat's, the hat's probably not magic. <laughs> but it's clearly it's magical. It, it's been underwater for yeah. 500 years. Okay. And, it's, and the feather's intact. And the yeah, feather's okay. still intact. Okay. Okay. Guaranteed magic. I got a magic hat. I'm writing down magic hat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go bug your friend to get a bunch of shit. Oh, she said no. Dragon takes the silver trade bars. Trade. I see a rock. <laughs> you do a rock. I'm banking on the rock. I got an egg and a rock. <laughs> I'm like the magic beans dude. <laughs> Jack. Okay, you got an odd shaped rock. I'm surprised the way that way you guys are picking. I would have thought you want the long So what, I took the long turn because I figured like someone's going to use the fucking long turn. So there's only one thing left. I'll trade you the long turn no, for the... Uh, and seaweed. seaweed and 100 gold. Seaweed. And 100 gold. Oh, the 100 gold wasn't taken yet, right? No. So seaweed or 100 gold? I'll trade you the... Uh, <laughs> uh, that is... Tack. See, oh, no, you no, took the shape. Now it's yeah. down to the dragon. The dragon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dragon. Oh, and out. crab meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he couldn't get it. Oh, I thought you did. Okay. Oh, right. he's, he's got to roll pretty low to take the seaweed here. I'll trade you the, the long sword for the... He takes the 100 gold. Yeah, Not of course stone. he does. <laughs> so there's some seaweed yeah, left. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's the seaweed. Okay. I want the long sword. All right. <laughs> I mean, I think the egg's better, but I still want the long sword. So the dragon is... Uh, he just basically drops everything into the water. It floats down. He's like, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Hey, we uh, we talked about introducing you to the leaders of the town. Were you still interested? I would prefer they come to me, not me <laughs> go to them. How do we okay. How do we find you? Oh, you come here. I in this. I'm in this area. I'm building my ward. I might use the boat. Did you check all the rooms? No. 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 Good. <laughs> Probably should have. Well, I would have died. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have uh, survived long enough for that. It's okay. I'll take care of it. So do there's I a to... there's a big hole in the side of it now. You yeah, might I, actually be able to fit in. I might I might just open that a bit more. There's a nice silt pile I can sleep on. <laughs> that crab was good. Yeah, that should have counted as one of your things. <laughs> okay, here. Gives you the 100 gold back. Yeah. Okay, sweet! Woo! Oh, heck yeah. We're a negotiator! Wow. Ashley, roll a persuasion check. Oh! <laughs> you have to say negotiate. Oh, you stupid bastard. <laughs> eight. I'm really I got an eight. I'm really persuasive. Actually, no, I'm persuasive. That's a ten. He's having it hard. Uh, I don't know. I kind of... Well, you guys... Uh, I don't know. It, I mean, it was a treasure. It definitely was. He I'll, let, I'll let I'll let Tack roll persuasion if you oh. want to. Uh, You're worse than I am. Eleven, still better than you. By one. <laughs> I'll take the gold. They just go. <laughs> 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 you screwed up first. Oh, and a big splash. You. you guys get all wet. Oh. No, never remind. You're already wet. <laughs> Why would you remind the DM when there's something yeah. he can lose? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say you had to roll a negotiation. I just said you were a good negotiator. Well, like, honestly, he was going to leave with the 100 gold anyway. So, But it made sense with the crab meat. So I was going to give you a chance. And then I gave you another chance. 
And then I said no. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are floating in the middle of uh, deep water. Better negotiate. Got a bit of a booty with you. Yep. So do I have to put this egg up my ass for this? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You guys have no idea what you have. Nope. I'm wearing the hat. We got seaweed. We got to report back to to what's her name anyway. So maybe. Uh, well, maybe we can get her to bring yeah. her shit. Yeah. I traded him for the egg. I have the long sword now. Yep. On the row back, I will play with the long sword. <laughs> I'll trade you the egg. <laughs> and and while, you're, while you're doing it, just kinda, <laughs> it kind of makes this vibrating whistling sound in the air. Oh, it's horrible? <laughs> you, you imagine. <laughs> you slice the boat in half. <laughs> roll. Actually, you know what? Roll. No. <laughs> and we're swimming to shore. 14. You'd have to roll a one. I had to say you cut the boat in half. <laughs> <laughs> or, or at least put a hole in it. Hey, if I accidentally cut the boat in half, it's well worth it. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, that sword wouldn't cut it in half, but it would put a hole in it. Okay, so you guys make it back. Um, uh, Doc Master, you made it under the two hours. So, oh, okay. just, yeah. um, it took like, growing. Uh, no, what, you know what? No, because it took you about half an hour to get there. You were an yeah. hour underwater. Uh, half, yeah, you were two hours. So you're good. Yeah, he gives us a little bit of a break. He's like, I want to go home. It's way out. late. <laughs> and in fact, it is yeah. about 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. So you guys are in the dock ward? Yeah, we're, we're going to go home. Yeah, cool. it's yeah, yeah, let's go home. Go home, take a nap. I sleep. This is like day three or something for us. So. Tomorrow I'll be able to determine if any of our stuff is magical. Yes. Not what it does, but whether or not it's magical. Oh, well, we can go oh, get him this a rock. rock. We can yeah, go get this over. rock. I'm telling you, gotta look, that rock's gotta look the most the, important uh, thing. You, you guys. <laughs> that's look for this yeah, I'll do that. Well, I will take the mystery box over and <laughs> guaranteed amount of gold. <laughs> yeah, we do. They're like, you can have a million dollar contract or you can have what's in this box. <laughs> it could be anything. It could even be a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice nickel. <laughs> Okay, so you guys head back and no problems. You make it back to uh, Troll Skull. Yeah. Um, it is 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to go on this sleep. We are yep, crashing. Um, while you're the approaching the alley, actually, you notice there's a very thick fog just no. in your alley. I'm almost dead. And it's, it's, it's a thick fog that you've never seen before. And you don't see it outside your alley. Are there you any... notice a few rats scuttling along. Are there any lights on in our neighbors' houses? Particularly looks like, the herbalist across the road? It looks like uh, the lights are out there, gone to bed, maybe? But there's no lights on. So, just a fog. Yeah, that's no big deal. <laughs> just a little bit of fog, guys. Yeah, you see some rats scuttle, yeah. scuttle by you. Oh, so it's raining. Oh, look, right? nice. We're all dead. <laughs> okay. uh, so you walk into yep, walk the manor? Um, looks like the frame I go is to getting closer to being done. I go to, to shut the door, like, be the last person in, and I just, like, watch out for, like, ten minutes, just with the door just barely open. Roll a perception check. Five. Yeah. Make sure you tell the vampires because they're not invited inside. Yeah, it's yes. just, you just see the fog rolling. Okay. This is a private residence, girl. Like, what a ridiculous weakness. I shut the door and lock it. <laughs> you need okay. to be invited inside. You guys are inside. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You see what we do in the shadows? Yes. I'm oh, trying to get invited into the bar. They're yes. like, won't you invite us in? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I sneak. I'll hand you one before you move in. Oh, he sucks. You um, get, uh, what is that, plus, uh, eight. He's, he's doing a long rest too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll probably so get murdered in the middle of the night. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you're gonna go eight hours without getting attacked? <laughs> Not in this yeah, city. Not in water. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> as you as you start climbing the stairs up to yeah. your part, See? there there is one of your last remaining mug is placed right in the middle of the stairs. One from downstairs. Oh, like the one we gave to the dwarfs. The dwarf is gonna be. No, that that mug was gone because Froon walked off with it. So you had one one mug left in. Uh, Old mug, <laughs> okay. But it's 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 sitting on a step right in the middle of the the new stairwell that's built. I pick it up. Okay. That's kind of strange. I assume it was the door below. 
So we're walking up the stairs, and you're like, I'm going to pick it up. I'm like, wait, just let me heal you once first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm back. Mimic! Go ahead. Yes. All right. So I pick up the mic. All right. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'm strong enough? Oh, thank God. You're strong enough, yeah. Barely. Nicer, so I'm, not I'm way behind these guys because I'm just sitting at the door. So I'm going to say, if you guys want to go to bed... I'm going to bed. You yep. collapse, you fall asleep, you have a great night's sleep. Yay. All right. Yeah, Nothing happened. You Nothing wait, happened. Your legs are missing. <laughs> so everyone has a full rest. So nice. Monty Python skit. So I'm preparing uh, the tech locate test. object <laughs> and detect magic. Oh well, yeah, I forgot about locate object. Good memory. So we're going to get the skull back. You had a training this morning or the next morning. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. With your little uh, diagrammatic map. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then with the troll school, and then the picture of Jaeger punching you in the face. Yes, there we go. That's yes. where you need to go. Yeah. The punch face part. <laughs> and I'm supposed to move the board. Ask people on the street, how do I get to punch face? Yeah. <laughs> punch face or is it called? Or punch face dog? <laughs> should we check before this so game leaves? Should we do the item check? So it's morning. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Detect magic and then followed by item. Yeah, anybody wants yeah. to know if their stuff is magic? Yeah, sure. I'll check out my piece of magic. Oh, no. Oh, she got magic. I, I detect magic on the rock first <laughs> to see if the odd rock. Oh, detect is magic. Magical. Yeah. Yes. Detect magic. Doesn't that do an area? Yeah. Uh, but then you gotta concentrate. Yeah. It's I like will. absence or presence. Mm, I, is, thought, I thought I uh, thought detect magic does like a oh, room. It? Yeah, it does a whole area. Oh. Yeah, it'll tell us. So what yeah. are you doing like in a pile kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but first I'm looking at the rock to see if the rock, the odd rock. Oh, okay. We're really interested in I rock. really want to know if the rock... That, that, that rock... Was but on. you're still casting the spell, which will make everything... Yeah, yeah. Cool. everything. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all focused rock. on the rock, though. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> the rock <laughs> does not glow. Oh! <laughs> 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 You picked that before the hundred gold. I <laughs> did. Man. Like I said, I'll take the mystery box over guaranteed money any day. Um, okay, what does everybody have? And I'll tell you if it's seaweed. magical. The, uh, the seaweed is not magical. The hat. <laughs> the hat and the egg. The hat and the egg are both magical. Oh, okay. The boots. Long sword. The boots are magical. The long sword is and magical. The book of wondrous answers. Was the book of wondrous magic. <laughs> Wonderous Wonder Answers is magical. You got the DMG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I alter reality. <laughs> DM number two. A hundred gold for you. A hundred gold for you. That's gold right. for you. DM's battling it out. Yeah. A trash shows up. No, it doesn't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go by meteor. A portal opens underneath it. <laughs> is there... Someone throws a bag of holding in a portable hole. <laughs> yeah, just just raise the world. <laughs> Two DMs going at it. Well, is there anything else in the house? I'm just gonna walk around our house to see our mug. That mug that he found yeah. is that mug magical or? The mug does not glow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what do you guys glows. have? What do you have on you? Mm-hmm. The staff glows. You mean this? Yeah. The laminated piece of paper? Yeah, does that glow? <laughs> that does glow. I didn't know there was laminated um, magic. My short sword. No, my short bow. Does not glow. Okay. We're just throwing everything in. Yeah. This, How like, about style. this? I got a pretty dope bedroll. <laughs> oh, we also learned it's school of magic, but I won't bother with yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's all you have. We get to learn the school of magic with all the items, but... Yeah. I just want to know the egg. egg. The yeah. egg is the only one I think I've Alright, so what do you want to look at it or? Yeah. Okay. So there is it, I just there is a scene. Hang on. Okay. okay pull out. Wait, the, was the long sword magic? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, good. You didn't get screwed on that deal. <laughs> Chose a rock over a hundred gold. Fair yeah. Nice. But picking <laughs> the magic day. long sword. Yeah. Any day. I'll take that chance. Freaking odd shaped rock. Okay, so this egg. Uh, it's a beautiful porcelain egg with gold trim kind of inlaid around it and it has little gold legs to hold it like a tripod. Oh, it's like a Russian, one of those Russian uh, eggs. Russian nesting dolls? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where and there's a seam that, and with a little hinge on the back, it looks like it opens up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's totally one of those Russian eggs. So you open it up? Fabergé. Fabergé egg. Is that what it looks like? Really fancy looking beater, right? <laughs> yeah, you, I'll open it up. You'll yeah. open it up? Okay. It opens up to reveal a small hollow in the ball at the bottom, and then the top part is solid. And the uh, so I can even 
magic piggy bank. Who knows how much money people could have put in there? Five. <laughs> could have been five. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely five. <clears throat> I have three copper. It, on the hollow bottom, um, there is a silver ring with a green gem on it. Oh, hmm. This dragon did see that. Nestled in a soft white cloth. Uh, on the top part, which is solid, uh, there's like a wind-up key. Wind-up key? Like I need a key to do something with it, or it's... it's no, it was like a little metal it. thing that you would okay. wind up. Like a, like a jewelry like box? A yep. box. Yep. Okay. It looks like a jewelry box. I put the ring on. Okay. Ring separate? No. No, it's, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's inside the egg. Mm-hmm. Which I worked my ass off to get. Yeah, you, you, you were lucky. Yeah, exactly. You were lucky to get it up that door because it was going to be super hard. I'm going to twist the thing after I put the ring on. Twist the thing. Oh man, is, is he going to become a green lantern? Hopefully not. That's going to be a slime. Um... Does it make tinkling sounds? Is there anything you're thinking of right now? Um, infinite money. Okay. <laughs> you, just, you just put on this ring and you turn this, this curious you know, device in front of you and you're just thinking, money. You uh, wind it up and your vision blurs. Oh, oh jeez. And, and you see somewhere piles and piles and piles of gold and like you in, infinite gold that you've never seen so much gold and uh, your vision kind of you're looking at it and then you're looking at it for about three minutes and then the music stops and it fades is this like the Harry Potter movie? I don't, I don't know I see a vision of lots of money but did I get any insight into where it is or how to get it or anything? Or You just focused on a lot of money. Okay. Huh. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's show you. So, with my detect magic, I put the ring on one hand and the egg in the other. How long does detect magic last? Ten minutes. Yeah, so the ring doesn't glow. The ring is non magical. Okay. Weak. Weak. <laughs> okay. So. What? Oh, I've seen a vision of stuff. <laughs> Looks like a, I don't know. Magic drawing. Maybe. The music box? I was thinking I would have lots of money. And then it showed me a picture of lots of money. But it didn't tell me where the money was. Are you sure you weren't or... just thinking about lots of money? I was. <laughs> Why don't you try it? How, how's that different? No, it's my yeah. You can't. Oh, <laughs> oh. This is the song. It, my this is the song it plays. And it's not just, it like has multiple musical instruments. Shazam! Mm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw the trailer for that. That looks ridiculous. Oh, I meant the app. Oh! To find out what's playing. <laughs> yeah, it does, it, but that movie does look ridiculous. You're absolutely right. Uh, I'm gonna put my boots on. And I'm gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> jump off something. No, I'm gonna really jump. commit to it. <laughs> jump in the <laughs> So what are you going to do? I'm going to jump. (laughs) Okay, you jump up. You don't seem to jump uh, any higher. Do I jump faster? No. Okay. When you land, you make no sound. I stomp around a little bit. You're not making any sound. These sneaky moves, guys. That's pretty sweet. Mm. I'm do the moonwalk. You are probably the sneakiest, though. Isn't mm. Roll the dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 19. You do the moonwalk. I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The roots of walking funny. The That's roots right. of silly walks. <laughs> Go see the ministry. <laughs> Are you looking for an argument? <laughs> do we want to do the scry immediately to 
judged by their skull? Um, yeah, before yeah. this guy goes, that was too. Yeah. You notice this was slipped under your door. Get beat up. Oh, it's a greetings. Greetings! You're cordially invited to attend a housewarming party in honor of Lady Bogusku. Oh, it's Bogusku. Bogusku. I would consider it the highest of honor if you would join us this evening for dinner, drinks, and dance. The festivities begin at sunset. Then we will eat you. Your humble servant, Laszlo Lukred, Seneschal of Lady Babushka. Then we will eat you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What's I wasn't really paying attention. That's yeah, what happens at sunrise, <laughs> yeah, so probably we're going to get eaten. <laughs> Did you guys notice the fog yesterday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The fog wasn't there before Lady Babushka was there. <laughs> it does say dining, drink, and dance. If we're going to get eaten, it might be in a different order. <laughs> Could be, could be dra- dance. Dragging your corpses drink. around? And dining? Oh, because they raise us from the dead after we're dead zombies. Uh, uh, no, they or maybe it's just... Uh, maybe, uh, really, maybe they eat you and they just dance to work off the calories. Yeah, you don't want to, you know... I'm just saying they just moved in and there was evil rats and... They did fog. So, some rats. Said you didn't see the rats? No. You were supposed to be staring out the door for 10 minutes. There was rats. They were evil. I rolled a three. We're gonna say. Did we have like a training during these summer episodes? No. No. No, he was having uh, your bed. You're having a rack to hold your Oh, that's armor. <laughs> armor. You can't attack it though. <laughs> it was very simple. It's not built to be a tag. Are we doing a look? Who, who's thing? wearing the hat? Me. Okay. What happened? You put it on? Yeah. I've been wearing it the whole time. Yeah. Except I had to take it off in the boat. Does he think nothing, that? Nothing happens. What does that have to look like? I think about looking like, like a pompadour. Like a gold. <laughs> oh. Oh, with a feather. oh, okay. I think that's the right name for it. I'm just going to use this long sword until I figure out what it does. It looks cool. Well, we know it's magic, so it's better than a not magic right. sword. Let's just curve. Like, um, I think you won that. Of my hallucinatory egg. It doesn't seem to do anything useful. <laughs> well, at least we all got something very useful. You can live in your dream world and <laughs> I get to you get stuff done. And we'll get stuff killed. And you'll walk all around and be quiet, I guess. And you will lament the missing gauntlets. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that odd-shaped that rock, kind of the gauntlets. Ogre you power. Should have those. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You might be able to make a deal with them. Trade. What? If, uh, yeah, I haven't checked out the book yet. Um, I opened the book to a random page. That's awful idea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the idea. pages are blank. Oh, oh. oh you got screwed. Oh, you got an empty question. It doesn't even have pictures. Ask a question. Uh, what's my favorite drink? Why would you ask the no, book of Nothing what? happens. It's a book of answers. The no. Wondrous Book of Answers is called. Yeah, the Wondrous Book of Answers. There's no, nothing wondrous about what his favorite drink is. <laughs> hey, milk is pretty wonderful. <laughs> you asked it a question. I hold the book in front of him. I'm going to say, what's on page one? And turn to page one. There's nothing on page one. Oh, you got screwed. All the pages are blank. At least I didn't take a rock. <laughs> oh! That's rock right. over gold. It, it, the book, the book did nice glow. It, it did glow. It did glow. Okay. The magical book of invisible ink. Everything you write on it disappears. I put it away for now. Yeah, we need to get these things identified. <laughs> 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 Let's find ourselves a troll spell. <laughs> yep. I will do that. Oh, was that this evening? When was that? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. this evening. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just too popular. We also have to help the dwarves move today. I gotta go yes. to face yeah. punch. Just do the alley. Thing. One sec before you get your face punched and yeah. other things. <laughs> One thing at a time. Do that. When are you supposed to go? Are now. Supposed to go? Like now. Right now. Well, then why don't you go and then come back then? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be in good shape to get a punch. In the meantime, I'm going to go help. Oh, do you guys want to come with? No. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that crap? 250 divided by 4? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So we're all 1293. Yeah. 1293? Yes. Okay. What's the next number we care about? No. Uh, 2700. Yeah. 2700. Okay. Vast distances away. Whoa. 
<laughs> okay, you go for face punching, we go for dwarf moving. Yeah, yeah anyone wants to help out with them. You don't I have guess. To I was going to go search for this troll skull, but I didn't help do that. Instead. Well, we're doing that. That'll be vastly easier when I'm done helping the dwarves move. I'm going to um, use Yeah, we got that find object. Do I get a call so, yeah. from train? <laughs> and if the find object doesn't He would you, call you. Huh? It's gone. Like, yeah. we're not going to find it anywhere. Yeah, unless we find another lead. Yeah. Which I'm happy to try and accomplish, but I don't have a clue where we do that, so. So we're um, supposed to be getting help from the guy who stole our skull with his trailer. <laughs> the door? Tally? Oh, yeah. Tell the the carpenter stole our skull. Oh, yeah. Because he's, like, ultra sketchy on that. Yeah, I guarantee he had something to do with it. But, um, he said he lent us his trailer, so... Okay. Cart. Yeah. The cart, yeah. So we're trusting this guy to find his way? Yeah, it's a left-right thing. I think he knows what's happening. Yeah, got a map. <laughs> Holds up this map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should, should I make you roll an intelligence check? Hatch, which is your <laughs> left <laughs> hand? Maybe you should. <laughs> yeah. Hatch, what was should, your left hand? Roll, roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I mean, tech, yeah, so 13. You find the way. It's a minus two. Hatch, hold up your left hand. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you guys first. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. I guess I'm following this. I don't have anything else to do. Okay. The um, really interesting thing about this is you get to see the kind of slums that Froon is involved with, so. Yeah, I mean, Froon. Froon so. All right. So, what are you guys up to? All, all I'm doing is uh, I'm going to do another lesser restoration on the so you guy. So, you go over to Tally's? Yep. No, yeah, we go to yeah, Tally's. Yeah, we, get the yeah first we've got to go get the car. Yeah. Okay. So, so, we had arranged that he would. Yeah, you walk in there and Tally's kind of working in the back shop. And How's that? Make, make, making your uh, beds. He's almost finished your beds. He should be finished today. Oh, nice. And your furniture. That's how the troll skull's doing. Is that what you ask him? Yeah. Missing? Okay. I'm gonna insight that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What'd you roll? Uh, not very good. Nine. Yeah. Oh, ten. Yeah, he seems to not believe that it's missing. He doesn't believe it? He, he seems to believe that it's, okay. he's telling the truth. Uh, you mentioned that we could borrow your cart for an hour or so. Yeah, yeah, I don't need it this morning, so you know, the horse and the it's out uh, to the side there. So feel free. Okay, thank you. How you long, have, how long uh, do you think? Uh, just going down to the trades ward. Trades ward and back. Yeah, okay, so like uh, an hour or two. Hour or something. Sure. Yeah, I don't need it till afternoon. Perfect. Um. <laughs> so you make your way over to uh, the Goss Bricks house. Yeah. And. Uh, Knock on the door. Knock on the door. And uh, opens up, and you see an excited family. Uh, they got some crates. Um, moving day. Moving day. Uh, everything, and it's like we're ready to go. Uh, we have some furniture. Should we? We maybe get it all in, maybe. And yeah. Uh, this cart. Those are eggs. Whatever we can get on this cart. So Gosprick's thinking maybe let's put the mattress in and fit everything in, and and then kind of have a little portion for Olimer. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna attempt to help Olimar again before we go. Do a wisdom check. And do a do a lesser restoration again. First, I'm gonna do a guidance on myself. Cast guidance on myself. Smart. And then uh, do my wisdom check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Um, oh, well, not nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. So. Nice. Eric Morden? Yes. You lay your hands on him and uh, you're praying over him and uh, Oliver's eyes go wide and puts his hands out to the side. And he's never been able to sit up. I mean, he sits up. Oh, this is a he's good like, sign. And everyone's freaking out and he's like, I'm sitting up. <laughs> and he feels his legs, but his legs aren't moving. But his arms are now. And well, his arms, he could move, oh, but, uh, he could never sit up before. Okay. So, he can sit in a chair maybe now. Nice. Do some crunches. 
<laughs> That's right. Work on that course course training. Training. Yeah. Yeah. He won't be spilling yeah. the soup all over his beard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> This is a positive improvement. I just, thank you. No problem. Great, Morden. You, uh, you, it's unbelievable. Our people deserve these treatments. Absolutely. Whoa. And uh, they're just giving each other hugs and hugging you and thanking you. And Absolutely. It's one of the greatest days of their lives. I'm excited to have you come to your new home now. We are too. Should we, uh, should we get packed? Absolutely. And you guys start hauling stuff down, and yeah. um, I'll help with the white stuff. <laughs> Oliver's like, can I sit in the front? Absolutely, you can. And you guys kind of help you carry him up with his legs, and you put him up top, and you're able to get more stuff in the back. So you're able to get everything in the back: his mattress, <laughs> table, uh, and a couple of crates of clothes and stuff like that, personal items. Uh, but that's really all they have. And uh, they had three chairs. Have you ever find out about the, um, that fee? Uh, we were basically told... Oh, there's 20 gold pieces. He was asking that, oh, you have to pay but me We 20. talked to Dernan. Dernan said, just don't pay it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's like, said, screw him. It's not a law. There's no law or something. He said, just, it's not going to... Just ignore him. Yeah. Okay. So you guys so head we'll back. that place. This is the ass later, but um, they don't have money. Also, when you guys got back the previous day, uh, before you went off to the boat, uh, you came back on the wagon with all your brewing stuff. Right. So that, before you left, I'm going to say you moved it downstairs. Oh, and, uh, yeah. You had all the brewing stuff for your microbrewery. I forgot about that. Yeah, because you guys came back on the wagon. Right. So your microbrewery stuff is downstairs. Ready to get uh, started. Ready to get started and set up and all that. So uh, you guys get back and... Uh, Olimer's eyes wide and big smile looking around. He just hasn't really been out for uh, <laughs> over about a year. Welcome to your new home, Trollskull Manor. Just wait till you see the dwarf door, it's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Not in yet. No, no, these guys are family. Don't tell anybody about the dwarf door. <laughs> sure. I'll, uh, dwarf. I might go running out tomorrow and tell everyone in town. <laughs> Olimer says. For you. <laughs> When my legs work again. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah. I'm going to mention to... Uh, so they all start packing. Where are you guys going to put them in? Uh, I think they have two... There was two bedrooms on the, on the second, second floor. floor. There's there a master bed... No, sorry, not a master bedroom, but a... There was a smaller and larger Yeah, bed. okay. Yeah. So you had some bedrooms there. And yeah. They're busy moving in and setting up. Uh, yeah, there's a bedroom and a spare bedroom on the second floor. I'm going to tell Shusa and Berberis that it's been arranged now with the management company that they will be employed through them, so payment will start soon. Okay. We're paying them? No. Yeah, well, they're working. And we're replacing other employees that we Yeah, they're not being paid on top. Basically, we're the, ca the, the capital pays for the employees for the first month, and then they're expected the profits will pay after that. Yeah. So they're getting paid work you, there. They're going to be yeah. brewmasters as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dernan is the management company. They're my family. Okay. <laughs> Dernan is uh, basically your management company. Yeah. He's going to handle all the financials. They're yeah. not, no, I just want to they're not getting paid on top of anything else, but they are getting free rent. And yeah. we're going to use but it for... Dernan's some... paying them. Yeah, he yeah. Will. yeah, out of the profits from yeah. the... Yeah, so they are not... getting free rent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and we are getting double duty out of them too. You got a, you got a apprentice. You have a cook. You yeah. have a potential brewmaster. Yeah. Yeah. We replaced three employees. My hope is that long term, if we can get this guy back to health, he's going to be able to help us with stuff too. Yeah. We're not only indentured servitude. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they're like leave it to us, and she says like we got no food in here. Uh, can I join me to go shopping? If you like, you're uh, not currently being paid to be a cook, so you don't have to do no, that. No, no, no. I'm gonna. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're stocked and you guys have food. And uh, yeah, she you, says, as you can see, the construction's still in progress. We're not opening probably for a couple weeks. She, she's very good with how she can stretch food and make good food. She says, if ten gold. I can get things going. I have three gold. I, don't, I have three copper. <laughs> you you, you yes. guys have a shitload of gold. I thought. No, we didn't take any gold. Oh, you didn't take any of the gold? No. Uh, didn't, 
didn't you take something? No. I thought someone I took two. Took the hat and the oh, you took all the items. Plug. And you're like, okay. She's yeah. like, okay, I'll just help move in. Yeah. <laughs> no, I we still have. have I'll give it to you. We took whatever oh, we food was okay. in. I just wrote it down. So she says, I'll go to yeah. the market and yeah. I'll. Uh, so we can eat for a day or two? I'll start filling up the cupboards. Yeah. Well, we got dinner tonight because we're going to the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. We're going yeah. to the cannibalism. We eat like fucking bastards. Like the rudest guests. They're going to feed you really good. Yeah, yeah, just stuff as much. It's all. Can. You're. It's just a big bowl of stuffing. Each of you get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Remy? <laughs> Not dead. That's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's kind of lean, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of fiendish. So you guys are uh, moving in. So let's yeah, go way. back to you. You uh, you find your way out to the uh, dock work. Yep. And uh, you make your way to. Um, <laughs> Down a couple streets. And um, it's a uh, meat shop in the dock ward. It's called Cleavers. Cleavers. Yeah. Um, you walk in and it's uh, run by a grumpy Goliath. Grumpy Goliath. Uh, what, what do you want? And, and, and so just what you say, he's huge. Huge body, but not muscular. He's just huge. He wears a large, bloodied white shirt and apron. He's got a small cap on a stringy kind of head, haired head. His arms are massively hairy, yeah. and oh, uh, cool. he's wielding. Uh, it, yeah, it's kind of got hair coming out of his shirt and the size. He's very hairy. <laughs> uh, he's got a massive cle- uh, meat cleaver, and it almost looks like he took a glaive and made it into a meat cleaver because he's just so big and handle. He's just. Uh, he's sitting, he takes a pig and he just chops it right in half with one swing. Um, <laughs> is he human? He, wow. He's a Goliath. Oh, okay, Goliath is he a He is a Goliath, so he's bigger than you. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, maybe not as fit, but he's just... Big, temporary. Wow. What can I do for you? Hi there, uh, my name's Hatch. Uh, I'm looking for Yagra. Yagra. Uh, yeah. Whatever that is. She's in the back. Um, what are you saying? Uh, so as you walk in, and he's talking. Jagger comes out the back door, and she walks in and she sees you and she goes, "Hey, Waddle, uh, I have another piece of meat you can have after I finish with him." And she looks at you and smirks. So come on in the back. As you pass Waddle, he says, uh, "I hope you's got a hard skull." Jaeger broke my wall with the last bloke's head. <laughs> oh. Jaeger laughs. She walks into the back room with you. Everybody always <laughs> calls me thick-headed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. <laughs> so, uh, the back room, it's a 15 by 10 foot room. It's got a sandy floor, kind of similar to what Glam yeah. had. A bench sits at one end by the door to the shop, and there's several pegs on the wall. It holds kind of staff, some wooden swords, some kind of training shields, and a it's got a flail with wooden balls on the end. Oh. Another peg has a large roll of narrow linens and what appears to be used for bandages. <laughs> <laughs> There's some red stains can be seen on parts of the wall and sprinkled in areas of the sand. Ah. So she kind of turns to you and says, uh, So, how was your night? I killed a crab. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she just... Immediately dex me. Dex you. Oh. Uh, that's just a. Should have been Revy here doing the That's an 18. Yeah, yeah, she gets, yeah. And that's just a 1d6 plus strength, I believe, right? Or no, 1d4. 1d4 if she's Plus strength. Way. Yeah, that's a 4 points of damage. 4 points, okay. Yeah. And she kind of bounces off and smirks at you. All right. What do you got, uh, barbarian? Yeah, I'm gonna go into a rage. I was just trying to tell you about my cool crab attack, and then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna um, recklessly attack, which gives me advantage, and then uh, I have like she'll get advantage for her next uh, attack. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna punch her in the face. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna be 17. 
That hits. And it's going to be five damage. All right. Um, she's going to uh, grab her jaw and you punched me. I'm a girl. And she kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a two! Oh, you get your knee in the way, and she stubs her toe, and you're like, "Oh fuck!" She gets advantage actually because I, oh, yeah. I recklessly attacked. Last oh, time. that's right. Yeah. So. Oh, that helped. Nice. <laughs> so that's a seventeen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the balls go in. Oof. Oh, um, oh, and you take vicious. Oh, six points of damage oh. to the nuts. Oh. <laughs> KO. Oh. You're, you're <laughs> Game you, over. You thought your voice was high before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, I have resistance because I'm raging to. Uh, oh, so, so three so, points. Yeah. Three points of ball damage. <laughs> you could outlast her that pig. Yeah. yeah. Just. So, yeah, exactly. True. Oh, don't get in a bar fight with a barbarian. Uh, right. Uh, holy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to just punch her. How much damage right in the face again? Sure. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be... Uh, that's a 12. To hit. Uh, it hits her. Oh, she doesn't damage. have any armor on. So oh, nice. Uh, so five more damage. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're negating this. Uh, she's getting a little frustrated. Thing, she doesn't seem to be doing the damage she thought she would be doing. You're so she's going to... Oh. <laughs> she's she's going to fake... Uh, to punch you, okay. and then she's gonna spin around you and try to grapple you. Oh, go with the grapple. Uh, and that is. That's a 13, so you got a strength. Uh, you got a opposing. Uh, so sorry, it's, it's, a it's a strength two. check, opposing well, strength check. Yeah, right. so she got a 13. Uh, 20, but not. Yeah. yeah, okay, so she tries to grapple you, and you just shake it off. <laughs> throw nice. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Your turn. That was her awesome. turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna take another swing. Just a nice haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. No chance. <tats. laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's, like that's not good. Uh, that's six. 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 To hit, so. All right. Yeah. Uh, that misses. Uh, she's gonna disengage. She's gonna go over to the wall and grab that flail with the wooden balls on it. Oh, what? oh cool. <laughs> nice. Wow. Um, that's her turn. Okay. And good. she moves back away uh, towards you. What, what oh, 10 feet away. What do I see that's on the wall closest to me? Oh, uh, there's a wooden sword. Awesome, I'll just grab that. Okay. Here. So you grab that? Yeah. And that's okay. your turn. That's my move. Okay. okay. So she's kind Wait, of swinging these things. Oh, because he had to pick it up. He had to pick it up. Yeah. So she's kind of swinging. She comes at you and she just tries to wing it at you. Uh, that is 10. Uh, it doesn't hit. Wings over your head. You're able to duck. Yeah. Uh, and she's just kind of panting at you. I'm gonna go for a like, side swipe. Side swipe, okay. Yeah. Shoot to hit. Uh, do I get any roll to hit. plus to my attack roll? With this you sword? add your sword, uh, strength. Okay. Modifier. Strength mod. Uh, so nine. Yeah. Nine? Yeah. No, that doesn't hit. Um, she's actually gonna take the flail, throw it at you. Nice. And um, it doesn't really. Hit you, just kind of distracts you. She's gonna to try to go around you again and grapple you. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Oh! So you gotta roll to see if you can uh, get under that. Oh no, not at all. It's gonna be eleven. Eleven. So she gets you into a grapple and she just pulls you to the ground. And she's got her arm underneath your chin, around your oh. neck. And she starts to squeeze and tighten it. So. Um, She's going to try to maintain it, and uh, you can feel the blood kind of thinning a bit in your uh, thing. So, strength check for grapple. Uh, twenty-one. Natural twenty. No way. Oh, come on. Which is a twenty-two. You are uh, starting to feel a little weaker as the uh, oxygen is <clears throat> being cut from your uh, brain. Okay. Well, it's a nineteen, man. <laughs> uh, this is going to be. Uh, a third grapple check. You you have a a minus two because you're starting for oxygen. Yeah. Okay. This is the last grapple check. Uh yeah nine. She rolled a five. No way. You break out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shit. 
I was like, oh, I'm toast. You guys roll away from each other and you <laughs> stand up. You have a sword, she has bare hands. Okay. Um, so it'd be your go. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack her with the sword. Sure. Yeah. Oh, six. <laughs> uh, six does not miss. Yeah. Does not hit. Yeah. She's gonna go over and pick up the uh, flail. And that's her turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna attack her again with this right. one. I hope that I hit this one. Oh, a natural one. Oh, oh. We're not in a cave. <laughs> uh, you just kind of trip and you don't get a good, not even close to her. She's kind of looking at you. What the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's gonna. While you're kind of tripped, she's gonna attack you. I'm gonna give her advantage on the attack. Uh, not too good. An eight. Oh, it doesn't hit. Yeah, yeah, on advantage. So that's her turn. I'll attack her again. Uh, so that's gonna be nine. Doesn't hit. This is the lamest fight. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna. Or the greatest fight. Like, or the greatest. Yeah. Like good she 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 is gonna go in for another hit and again fake it. Go around you, try to grapple you. You're grappled. She throws you to the ground again, face first into the sand. And she's, just, and she's just trying to put some leverage onto your neck. So uh, she's going to keep trying to do this with another strength check. Uh, 17. 5. You break out. <laughs> break out of it again. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So uh, it's your turn. Can I attack again? Yep. There you go. 19. That is. Nice. And then I'll do. Uh, Are you doing a sword? Yeah, with yeah, a yeah, sword. Yeah, sword. So 1d6. 1d6. Okay. Plus 2 for my rage. 8. 8 points of damage. 8 points. Alright. She's gonna, she's gonna wing the flail at you. Or try to hit you with the flail. Oh, okay. She's not hitting you. A natural 2. She misses. Okay. She's yeah. getting frustrated. Get attack with my sword. Uh, so that's gonna be twelve. twelve yep. Yeah. Twelve. Uh, that hits. Nice. So that's six, six, two, uh, six damage. Six damage. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, she kind of goes down to the ground and she's. Uh, Give me a sec. <laughs> She's looking hurt. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna grapple anyways. Yeah. I'm oh, well, wasn't that your turn? Yeah. You hit her. Oh yeah, yeah, I hit. So and she's oh, down on okay, the ground. Okay, she's okay, doing a free action to talk okay. to you. So okay. uh, she takes some sand. And she throws it in your face. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got bandaged. Um, <laughs> roll a dexterity Let's check. Uh, dexterity. See if you can avoid it. <laughs> Yeah, so you get sand in your eyes, and uh, you'll have disadvantage on attacks for two rounds. She'll have advantage on attacks for two rounds. So she's going to hit you with the flail. Of course she will. Sorry, no, that was her turn. Oh, that was her turn? Yeah, okay. Sounds her um, turn. So if I use a uh, reckless attack, which gives me advantage, that be just a, cancels a, cancel out. Cancel it'd be normal. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to attack recklessly. Okay. Uh, 13. 13 hits? Yeah, awesome. So, what? so six damage. Six damage. She's looking really beat up. <laughs> She's like, uh-huh. fuck it, and she just tackles you. Oh yeah. And uh, she's gonna try and grapple you again. Oh, she's getting shitty rolls. Uh, yeah, I guess do I have disadvantage? Yeah, you would because. Uh, because all the lore says. No, I wouldn't say. She's grappling me, so yeah, guess, you can do it blindfolded right? even. Yeah, so, so 19. 19, also, yeah, you get it. Yeah. Oh, no, so, so your turn. So I, I'm going to throw my sword to the side and grapple her. Okay. Yep. Oh, six. Um, she takes 
the grapple that you try to do. Yeah. And you get your arm and she grabs your arm into an arm bar. Oh. Nice. And she reverses it and gets your arm down there. So nice. she's now grappled you. Okay. So she's going to... Grapple uh, check. Yeah, she rolled a 20. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> That's why I gave her the reverse. <laughs> How do you break out? I break out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, grapple again. Alright. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be 21. <laughs> She's rolling single digits with advantage. <laughs> oh. Nine. Okay, yeah, tw- 21, so. 21? Yeah. Okay, so she's grappled. Yeah, so. Uh, so she's. You got her behind the neck, or how are you doing it? Yeah, it just. Okay. Uh, just nice putting the pressure on yeah, it, and she's kind of like. Yeah. So she's got a strength strike to get out. Uh, 17. Eleven. Eleven. She breaks out. She's gonna grapple you. Ah! Actually, no. She's just gonna elbow you. Cool. Natural one. Natural one. She hits the floor. Funny bone hit. Oh, the funny bone. Three spiders. Awesome. Five I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, one scorpion. Am I, I'm, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna slug her. All right. Where are you in an area that has a four scorpion? There are ten centipedes. Five. Five. You miss. You kind of breeze off her shoulder. So she's gonna try to grapple you again. Uh, it doesn't say. I hate that it doesn't say which class it is. Well, so, how many times? Single digits? A two and a four. I know, but a little annoying. She, she doesn't grab me. Okay, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you do? I'm going to punch her again. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine misses. She's going to try one last grapple. And that's a 20. You know, grapple. Well, unless you, it's an unnatural 20. Makes sense. 14, so. So you're grappled? Yeah. Okay, so let's do second uh, grapple. Check. Seven. Seven? Yeah. That's what I got. Wow. So, you keep going to tag in. Uh, Oops, that's, 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 that was a card. Uh, that's a 20. You're uh, grappled again? Yeah, minus two. Minus two. That's funny, I was. 10. 18. You. Blackout. Oh, and you hit. <laughs> she had two hit points. No way! Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cheesy about that. <laughs> and she just she just pulls you out and, and just and you're out cold. So you wake up and she's uh, bandaging herself up. That's <laughs> fair. I mean, I did punch her a good number. You did. Yeah. Uh, you uh, damaged her amazingly, and uh, you know, grappling is kind of her thing, so she wasn't. Uh, she was pretty surprised about how well you did. Yeah, she's got yeah, some bad barbarian. Down. That's pretty. Yeah, lots of respect there. Uh, where'd you learn those moves? I punch things. You <laughs> punch things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that was awesome. So you want to? You feel like you still want to keep doing this? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, sounds great. Tomorrow. Okay. You'll be eating tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh yeah, but I do have a dinner to go to tonight, and I don't know how well that's gonna go. I'm not usually really good at dinner parties. Just be yourself. That's what I do. Yeah, you're right. I should just be myself. Thanks, Edgar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> Which misses with a three. Nice. Okay. And but she just kind of rolls up against you, close. <laughs> She's like this far away from you. I had butter. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled a hit. <laughs> I got a couple hit points. Come on, she only has two hit points. Come on, buddy. She bandaged. She uh, bandaged. 19. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> so she gets a bleeding nose. Oh. She's like, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice move. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, have fun tonight. And you head out. Awesome. Head back. Nicely done. I was hoping I'd KO her with that head butt, but. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow. Um, so you guys were. See you tomorrow, funk. That's so, you'll take a while, you, you'll we'll get back. Yeah, together, we'll get back together, yeah. locate object. Okay, so while you're doing uh, setting up and stuff like that, Hatch comes back, a little bit bloodied up, yeah. bandaged. You guys are all together. Rule number one. <laughs> Where you were you guys? I could have used some help. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just kidding, that was fun. What do you guys want to do? So I will cast Locate Object, and if this skull is within a thousand feet of us, then I know, I sense the direction of the object. And if the object is in motion, is in motion I know the direction of its movement. Okay. 
So you're casting it? Yep. Okay. Um, you sit there, you're concentrating. You're not picking anything up. Okay. It's gone. It's not within a thousand? That's like half the city, so forget it. Well, that's, no. What? That's like a... What's it doing? Oh, there you go. That's like a third of a kilometer, or whatever. That's yeah. not very far at all. <laughs> let's, let's just walk to that intersection where we kind of felt like we had its trail, and then if we still don't pick it up. That was... Like less than a block away, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but okay. it's the only direction we got the park. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll so walk. the other side of the fence and down that road? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So and you... then, we'll just walk around. Yeah. Okay. But basically that direction in, what, 10 minutes? I think is what it is? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll literally just exhaust our 10 minutes and then... Yeah, you walk back to the we'll intersection where yeah. you, you see the scratches on the, on the thing. Yeah. You walk opposite <laughs> the street. You kind of come down around that intersection. Uh, nothing to ping in. We'll just continue to walk yeah. basically There's south, I think it is, isn't it? South? I think that's the way. Whatever we that direction it. is in relation to the... Okay. Uh, the towards what? The dock wards, I guess? Or the trades wards? Or well, just in a straight Straight, straight, line, straight south from you guys. Yeah, okay. So, so that you would start heading towards the trades wards, huh? Yep. So. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you walk for 10 minutes and you're not pinging anything. Okay. Alright, we'll find it by normal means. No. Okay, so we can try and sell our stuff. What's that stuff? Maybe. Or get it identified. Get it identified. We should go. We should gonna go talk to, talk to, we're gonna go talk to Vajra. Yeah. So we might as well do that right now. <clears throat> I think we're somewhat closer to her place anyway, so let's go the rest of the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can go over there in 40, 40 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Gets through the door. Um, Please be normal. Please be normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the door opens and it's just a spiral staircase that goes up. Uh, it's different uh, again. It's a tight spiral too. It's kind of crowded. Okay, let's head up. There go. Okay, and it only goes up about three floors. And you come out onto almost like a stadium size grass field. And you just see at the far end, you can almost barely see the far end, it's just a stone circular um, arena almost. But oh. it's got like a 20 foot high flat ceiling. Okay. And it's just this big round circular, it's probably about a thousand feet across. Oh man, should have cast your spell in here? You can see the whole you think there's, she stole our spell? There's, no. a, there's a desk with someone working at it in the very center of it. Green grass. Weird. Uh, right, I'm gonna go take a little There's some birds actually flying through here. Double dash over there. You're gonna race them? Super no, I'm super excited. <laughs> super excited. It's, <laughs> it's sports day! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sports field. We'll get a participation trophy. That's right. <laughs> okay, I will walk. I came over. in seventh! <laughs> out of four people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is something I should do, yeah. I will walk over. Alright. And, uh, she's working out of the desk and... Tacitus! Good afternoon, or good morning. Uh, yes, I guess it's still the morning. Um, good to see you. Well, uh, as for our last conversation, we had an interesting evening last night. Uh, so we met the dragon. Anyone write his name down? Because I did not. It started with a Z. Yeah, Zygwith. Zellifarm. Fear. Zellifarm. Zignab. No, I wrote it down. Zellifarmius. Yeah, Zignab. Zigamanus. 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 Yeah, I think his name was Zigamanus. Sure. Zellafarn. <laughs> the dragon's name is Zellafarn. Mm. He will be setting Zen, up a Zen permanent Zen hold Zen underneath. Zen. Zen. <laughs> he will be setting up a permanent hold, hoard, hold, uh, probably in a shipwreck underneath the bay. And even though we warned him of the potential. What was the name of the shipwreck? Uh, yes. The Raven. Yeah. The Raven Tide. The Raven Tide. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I heard there was some amazing treasure in there. Yeah, we found a rock. Yeah, this is yeah. really odd. And shape. some seaweed. If, yeah. <laughs> if you're curious about what we found, we did bring most of it with us, and we have yet to determine what some of it does. Um, Actually, I'm very curious. So, but they uh, had. I, there's rumor that that had some very unique items. 
They yeah. were definitely unique. This we, hat. She looks at it. Pretty unique. It's, so. That's totally you, Burned. Yeah, thank you. Ravy got some cool boots, too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <clears throat> when you had the hat, it was a little bit bigger, but it kind of shrunk to your head size. Oh, uh, just As you put it on. All fits. Someone with a bigger sizes. head than you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, a dwarf really has a normal size. Pretty right? normal head. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so it, fit, it fits well. Um, but before we get to that... Uh, so the dragon, sorry. First the dragon. Um, bronze dragon, you were right. It, it's okay. Like, is he? He he doesn't appear to have any hostility towards. The okay, well, that's good to hear. Party, I, I wasn't sure. Did warn him that he may encounter some hostile members if they learn that he is indeed staying under there. You know, the to go to the treasure center. But the concern is also that he is unaware of the world around him. He's he doesn't not, appear to be quite a juvenile. Yeah. Right? Okay. He's slightly um, ignorant. Oh, I may have to ways. pay him a visit, and uh, I'll talk to the dock master. I'll talk to the city watch. I did, I did negotiate the fact that he may want to discuss um, these matters with the leaders of the the city. Um, oh. And he agreed, but said that they would have to come to him. So we could we could easily take you there. Or, or show and, you she's, the and she's kind of has a yeah. Her face just kind of sneers a bit so when you say that. Clearly a power move. Yeah. So, um, so we did negotiate that. We could take you there. Uh, I can show you where it is on the map, if, if that's any help. Uh, and she, this map floats out from the, out of her desk and just... Yeah, it's all point. Point it up. It's almost exactly where I think it was and okay. that the ship is somewhere under this area. Um, I'll, uh... We did split the treasure with him 50-50, so he still holds on to some of the items that we found. Um, we'll but, I can show, but I can show you what we did find. <clears throat> yeah, I'd be totally interested. I'll put the sword on her desk. Um, she casts Identify on it, and it's a plus one longsword. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't really need a card for that. No, oh, what? No. Uh, you mean, one of the more interesting things we found was this egg. anus egg. <laughs> An anus egg? Yes. And when you pull it out, she's laughing. The, she stops. No. She grabs it. It. Uh, She's looking at it. Also included this ring that's on my finger, but I don't think this is magical. She's just looking at the egg. Um. Did you play this? Yes. Uh, what did you see? I've seen a lot of in the ring. So she casts identify. Vast amounts of gold. Oh, and. <laughs> and she Frog. tells you what it does. My sentimental, Ooh. my sentimental rock. Since that's a very special item, um, yeah. totally a Fabergé egg in this picture. Here. You're you're fortunate to have that. Yeah. What? <laughs> Maybe you should roll better initiative. <laughs> I used up my 20 to get it. Still would probably trade you, but <laughs> I'm so for the game. Um. <laughs> oh. It doesn't do anything anymore, don't worry about it. Oh, you did that? Is that one time you used it? Can I show her my book? Yeah, so. Uh, I got this book, but it doesn't have any pictures in it. She looks at it and. Don't forget the hat. I've, I've heard of this, I've never seen one. She casts and she flips through it. And... She uh, casts identify a spell on it. Oh, cool. And she's... Wow, Hatch. Don't waste this. Man, I think you got my stuff. How about this hat? Can you, would you mind telling me what this hat is? <laughs> um, she looks at it and she pulls it down. And it's... Uh, The description is a little different than what I told you. It's more of a pirate hat. Oh, a um, yes. She's looking at it, cast a identify Shadow spell on it. And, yeah, it's not one. sure if it's it would be good for you, but um, it'll be fine. I'll leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have these sweet boots. And she picks them up and oh, casts identify, and. Uh, she goes, 
Yeah. Well, that's probably why I didn't hear you coming <laughs> in. It's an amazing thing. You wouldn't want to enjoy. It. Oh, and, uh, you got another card thing? I also got this sweet card at uh, the fair. <laughs> Lucia. Gave you this? Um, Lucia. Lucia. Lucia yeah. At the uh, Day of Wonders. Yeah. And she casts the Identify spell on it. Oh, nice, she She looks at you. Looks at the card. Hands it back to you. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that game works. That Lucia's game. Lucia, <laughs> Well, you could use it right now and find out. If you told me to use it in <laughs> yeah. time, I'm dire need. That's no, true. You should, you should wait. You should wait. Throw the rock at the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's all the items? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, my seaweed's not magical, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, okay, it's so not the dragon, the dragon uh, chose half of the treasure. It, it was more interested in the monetary value. Uh, it took the gold, it took uh, a statue of a coiling serpent. Don't don't believe it had any magical it uh, attributes. It definitely could have. We didn't. Know. It, it could have, but and the I suspect it did not. Uh, it took some sums of money and a platinum, or sorry, and a <laughs> silver bar, and, an, and, and a, a necklace, a necklace, and a gauntlet. Some gauntlets. Let me tell you a the little. Necklace and the gauntlets were magic. They were like barbarian gauntlets, I think. Let me yeah. tell you a little history of the Raven Tide. Uh, that I've learned. Uh, boat. Twenty years ago, uh, there was a pirate. I can't remember the name of him, but um, the I know the Raven Tide attacked a ship that was carrying uh, mages in their items, and they were able to. Uh, ram the ship and incapacitate a lot of the mages or overtake them and apparently killed them all, sank the ship but took all the items in the Raven Tide. Um, it was never seen again. Actually we had no idea where it was until you guys told me it's right here in deep water so it's very interesting. And some of these items I'm sure were uh, once objects of powerful mages. I'm pretty sure if you were to send an expedition in to recover stuff, the dragon would be in there now, claiming to live with for his own. Yeah, and that may be uh, something. We'll let him have his word if he's a if he's a happy dragon. Yeah, he seemed pretty decent. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'll talk to some of the leaders in the city, and we'll talk about how to maybe do an ex. Go out there and talk to him. We're an inclusive city. Even for creatures such as that? If you can handle the Powerful violence. ally too, potentially. <laughs> hmm? Potentially he's a powerful ally too. Perhaps, yeah. He's, he's a, he is a young dragon right now, and but he will grow. Anything else I can uh, do for you guys? Uh, not unless you have anything else for us. Mm -hmm. uh, just wanted to report back. You ever heard of Lady Senish? No. No. Senish Babushka? What? Babushka? Oh yeah, that's actually Babushka. interesting. Babu it's Babushka. Babushka. Babushka? Babushka? <laughs> uh, Babushka. Lady Babushka. Have uh, you heard that name? She invited us to dinner. Uh, no, I don't know her. Oh, okay. She's a new resident, it appears to be. There seems to be odd magical mists emanating out of her. We think she might be a cannibal. <laughs> out of her house. Can it's, it's coming out of her house? Uh, new out near get, her house. We're, we're on the ocean, we get fog. Yeah, not like this though. This is special. We'll let you know if we find anything more out of the ordinary than sure. okay. We're uh, gonna do a uh, recon tonight. Are you? Keep the streets safe that way. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, best of luck. Any um, uh, recommendation on who you would go to to sell these items or purchase other items in the future? Um, I want to sell some of the magical items. Potentially. There's a maid shop in the uh, castle ward. Um, it's publicly available. It's uh, sh she 
she lives actually in one of the uh, stone statues. Uh-huh. Um, and you could try her. Which, what uh, statue would that be? Um, just, I can't remember off that, but uh, she will give you that information. Yeah, okay, great. That's good. <laughs> we know which one to look And she gives you directions to it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Are the statues deities? No. No. Okay. They're living statues. They're golems. Oh. She says some statues have been incorporated into buildings, some have been hollowed out. Mm. And uh, it's the one where. I think it's the god catcher. But I. Okay. Vajra knows. The DM doesn't okay. know right now. That's good. That's good. <laughs> he will have it for next time. Okay. Good. Just in case in the future. But she's sure. she's this um, salesperson would be. I, I might be. I, I might be. If you're selling, I might be interested in the the Book of Wonders. Oh. <laughs> what would you offer for that? <laughs> Do you have a pair of steel gauntlets? <laughs> those those uh, ones, yeah. You uh, want a pair of steel gauntlets? I can get you a pair of steel gauntlets. Don't do it. Wait. I'll have to think about it. Don't do it. Wait, you should tell us what it did. Did you think about it? What does it? <laughs> okay. What's she snaps her fingers and some steel gauntlets appear on her desk. Okay. What does the book do, man? Ooh, but you can't wear armor. It's tempting. Yeah. Just steel gauntlets. No, I want the other pair of steel gauntlets that the dragon has. Maybe. I don't know. This book's pretty cool. Nice. You let me know. Okay. We can think about it. We should think about it. Information is power. Hmm? Information is power, Hatch. Mm. It's true. You don't want to buy this. All egg. of the power. <laughs> Be careful. Sorry? Do you want to buy the egg? Uh, the egg has skills that uh, I already have. Yeah. So I don't think I need that. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thanks for your time. Yeah. All right. Well, she uh, motions towards the door, and I guess. I walk out. Head out. Did you guys want to stop there? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, it's 25 after 10. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. So we, we pretty much had everything in there. We had a near-death experience. Um, two. We well, got some treasure. Two of you, though. Uh, you took the items over the gold. I know where your... Uh, where your uh, where our hearts lie. Hearts lie. <laughs> you guys are dead broke. Just, <sighs> I have three gold. Items. Good I'll take the rock. <laughs> No yeah. food in the house. Yeah, the, the rock choice was unfortunate. The rock was the best. We could have had a hundred gold. <laughs> I would take the rock over hundred gold any day. Missing it, uh, I, I, I was just like, I was gonna throw a rock in there, and I was like, I'm gonna call it an odd shaped rock instead. Awful. <laughs> that, that was enough. To Hateful, get yeah. Hateful. Hateful. Uh, uh, Your thought? We thought we were diluting the list with the non magical items of the dragon and potentially choose the wrong one and it's just us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I won't tell you what, because you guys didn't do an investigation in the captain's quarters. No. And, uh... Oh, well, Ray did. There's, I did. There's a couple. You, no, you did in the stateroom. No, oh, I didn't. Uh, but well, I was oh, you didn't have a good role. No, probably not. Yeah. Uh, and there's two more rooms that are in. Yeah. We can go back down. Captain's we, quarters were we pretty didn't low. Have enough time anyway. Oh, were they loaded? That's why I was excited when I would when you said oh, this is the captain's quarters. I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah, but Keep you rolled a hat. you rolled a crappy investigation. You just gotta yeah, tell us what the hat is. I think we all rolled you a crappy investigation. Yeah. No, he was the only one who rolled it in the captain's quarters. Hey guys, this is Gogo DM, and thank you for listening to this episode of Perilous Pursuits. Be sure to check out our website at perilouspursuits.com for new episodes, news, and other information. And if you'd like to help us out, maybe like us, subscribe, and add some comments to our YouTube channel. Also, if you could give our podcast some stars and reviews on iTunes, we would really appreciate it. In the meantime, go take your hellhounds for a walk, give that gelatinous cube a big hug, then grab some friends and just dive in and play some D&D.